boys and girls of every age. Wouldn't you like to see something strange? Come with us and you will see. This is our town of Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Pumpkins scream in the dead of night. This is Halloween. Everybody make a scene. Trick or treat. Tell the neighbors on a diaphragm. It's our town. Everybody scream. It's town of Halloween. I am the one hiding under your bed. Teeth ground sharp and eyes glowing red. I am the one hiding under your stairs. Like snakes and spiders in my hair. This is Halloween. Hello, everybody, flooding in. How is everybody doing on this fan fucking tastic Friday chat? This is Halloween, 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 Halloween. It's not Halloween, but it's Friday the 13th. So, uh, you know, it's a little spooky, scary day. Perhaps even more scary than uh, than Halloween night. For most movies, it's a little spooky, scary season, chat. What are we doing today? Well, uh, we actually have a little special fucking react day to, uh, today. Uh, we're going to start out with some regular reacts a little bit. Uh, probably got like three or four videos. I'll, we'll do a quick rundown here. <gasps> Starting out with some regular videos like student caught smoking marijuana and vehicle starts to panic. Joe Bartolozzi out of context. Worst things about every generation. And then we're hopping right into fucking... Halloween reacts chat we got some regular ones that aren't scary like goofy horror movies the craziest ghost stories in Joe Rogan history and then we're on to fucking horror film after 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 horror film and then ending with a Mr. Nightmare video <sighs> so that's the general plan today uh we'll do something similar uh on Halloween day where we'll probably just watch a bunch of scary shit. But, um, uh, yeah, you guys sent in, uh, yo, W chat, by the way, uh, you guys sent a lot of fucking scary short films for me to watch that we haven't seen yet. So we're going to be watching basically all the ones that you guys sent. Uh, if you have any videos you want me to react to, by the way, exclamation point discord, uh, join the discord. I have a video suggestion tab and a game suggestion tab for videos, uh, and games. You can send any fucking react video you think I might, uh, either make fun of, like, talk about, whatever, uh, in the video suggestion tab. And any games you think would be fun to watch me play on stream in the game suggestion tab. My, uh, they could be anything. Uh, if you have any scary videos, you can send those there. If you have any scary games, you can send those there. Or if you have any regular reacts, funny fucking reacts, uh, annoying reacts, cringe shit, whatever, you can send those there as well. Chase, Austin, Zooted, Noviv, Henry, jo uh, Josh, Alex for the sub, Beefcorn for the three. Are you still mad I won trivia yesterday? No. Andrew, the Shadeling, Vincent, Logan, Rybug, Trippy, Joe Bart, Deadly for the sub. Uh, Shaka and Franta for the sub and Chase for the sub. Uh, are you going to play the new Spider-Man? Yeah, I will. That's next Friday, though. Uh, I am uh, actually pretty hyped for that. Uh, I don't know if you guys are hyped. Are you guys excited for the new Spider-Man game? Uh, yeah, we're going to be playing that next Friday. Uh, I can't play it until then, obviously, because the game's not even out yet. Uh, but I bought a PS5 <laughs> specifically to play that game. Not really. I bought it for Spider-Man 2, uh, Until Dawn, and a few other PS5 exclusives that you guys have been asking me to play on stream. Uh, and I literally can't play them unless I have a fucking PlayStation, so I bought one. Uh, Lofus for the sub, dive for the sub. Moose, thank you for the 5,000 biddies! <laughs> Hey, from YouTube, uh, can ever watch, can't ever watch stream because of my schedule, but you're my favorite content creator. Fuck the hate, you're cool as shit. Thank you for the 5K, Vinny's bro. Moose the Milkman for the fucking nice-ass message, too. Uh, and I'm sorry you can never make stream, but I'm glad you're here right now. Twix for the sub. Uh, Shaka for the sub as well. All right. Until, go Until Dawn is goaded. I've heard that it's the best, uh, like, choice-based, the Quarry-esque game, uh, ever made. So we're gonna play that as well when we're done Spider-Man, or just kind of while we're playing Spider-Man 2 in the middle. Uh, we'll determine that later, though. Jay for the five gifteds. Uh, that, but yeah, that's the plan for today is we're gonna do react scary reacts. Tomorrow, I'm not live. I'm taking pictures for the merch. Sunday's a regular react day at two. Monday, I'm gonna be live at 4.30 doing prison sim and thief sim. Last prison sim stream. Uh, Tuesday, I won't be live. Wednesday, I'll be continuing at dead of night. Thursday might be... Wait, no. Thursday, I'll be games with chat. Next Friday will be the new Spider-Man. Next Saturday will be the games against JoJo. Next Sunday will be Reacts. Uh, and I bought, yo, quick PSA. Bought all the candy for the Halloween idea. So that's also a fucking dub. Uh, I got all the candy for uh, the video where I'm going to eat all of the worst rated 
Halloween trick-or-treat treats. Uh, I say treats because not all of them are candy, right? Uh, like some are apples, popcorn, hot chocolate, pencils, toothbrushes, shit like that. I'll review all of that. I think there's about 25 different things. We'll do that in about two weeks from today, probably. Maybe a bit earlier, maybe like a week and a half from now. Uh, we're going to do a video uh, or a stream where I eat uh, and try slash rank on a tier list all of the worst uh, Halloween treats that you could possibly get uh, through a lot of your suggestions and Google. Uh, the one thing that I really couldn't find was Nika wafers uh, and uh, circus peanuts. I had to buy circus peanuts on Amazon. Oh, I could buy Nika wafers on uh, Amazon too. Nah, nah, nah. We already have Smarties. They're the same thing. Aloe and Timbo for the sub noob for the three. It's daylight savings, so I can watch you. It is not daylight savings. Kofo and XD, or at least in the U.S., it's not. Uh, XD and Kofo for the sub. Zero, zero, the corn man for the sub. J for the five gifted. Mixy in for the three. I think my phone was hacked. Some random lady passed by me, and my phone instantly lagged. I don't think that means your phone was hacked. I think that means your phone coincidentally lagged when you passed by a lady. I think that is borderline paranoia. Uh, for you to assume that your phone lagged, therefore your phone was hacked by the lady that just walked by you. Did she look like she was hacking you, or was she just, like, did she have a laptop out in front of her, or fucking scanner thing or some shit, or was she just kind of leisurely walking? Uh, anyways, are y'all ready to get into the fucking reacts today? Winkles for the sub. Uh, this should be a regular stream time today. I might be a little bit shorter, but it'll still be over three hours for sure. Van Gogh for the 1600 buddies. Sinbadu for the five. Third stream of my career. Me and my girlfriend watch you every day, so thanks for everything that you do. Done. Uh, can you call it, uh, you could call me Sin if you end up remembering me eventually. Uh, all right, word. Uh, and boy, uh, or B-U, B-loves for the foy. For the B loves for the four, 400 biddies. I might just be slow. Uh, now, that might be me because I just pronounced four as foy. Moose, thank you for the five gift. It's Andrew for the three. W3, that's going to be a W stream today. All right. Lock in here, chat. First video of the day. We got right three regular videos, right? And then we're going to hop into the rest of the stream being all scary shit. Well, not scary shit. Uh, but fucking uh, some scary shit, some Halloween related shit. The first few are going to be Halloween related shit. And then we're going to get into the scary videos. First video of the day though, short one. Student caught smoking marijuana in vehicle starts to panic. Is this a silent video? Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Jump scared me. Jesus. Hello. Hey, how's it going? What y'all doing over here? Oh, he was hotboxing the car, too. Oh, that's brutal. Cop walks up to you, hotboxing. You're not going to be able to be like, oh, no, nah, I was just chilling in my car. It's going to fucking smell like a skunk from like two miles away. It's weird. No, it, 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 it was a, a, a black, a black mile. Oh, come on. Are you going to insult my intelligence? Smoke it was a black and mild. <laughs> oh, really? Why are you smoking a black and mild with your windows rolled up and the AC off? <laughs> you just like you just like re-inhaling tobacco smoke? Is that what it is? Black mild with the windows up, right? You guys live here? No, sir. You don't live here? No, sir. Why would you come here to smoke weed? If you don't live here, I mean, even if you did live here, why would you sit out here and smoke weed? We, we, Can so you she... get out of this? If you already smoked the whole joint, and he roll and he walks up to you and makes you roll down the window, could you be like, "No, nah, I didn't smoke weed"? Probably not. I, <laughs> I feel like it would end up with it with you getting tested, or some shit. Like, there's no way. There's no way they're going to be like, oh, yeah, no, it's not a big deal. He had came from work. Man. It's just my fog machine, officer. Hold up. Let me turn it off. You just, like, you just do, like, a phantom reach in the back. Why does your fog machine smell like fucking skunk? We, we, 
just to decide to, to chill and to have fun. But you don't live here? Do you know anybody here? Yeah, my yeah my my cousin in front of you used to stay here. Yeah, okay. we used to play basketball. But you don't know? All right, you got your ID on you? Yo, honest question. This is probably in a state where weed's illegal. If weed is legal, are you allowed to hot box a car? If you don't drive afterwards? No. Because it would be the same thing as drinking in a car, which I is that allowed? No. Even if you're not the passenger, you're not allowed to drink. Like, if I'm driving a car and my friend's in the fucking passenger seat chugging a beer, I'll get in trouble. What is hot boxing? All right. <clears throat> it is the um, broke boy way to get high. Basically, you sit in a enclosed space and you turn off all ventilation. Right? Are you following? Then you smoke. And so because there's you turned off your car ventilation, most people choose a car because there's speakers so they can listen to music. And it's discreet. Except for these guys because the cop fucking walked out to them. <laughs> but in most scenarios, you turn off the AC, you smoke a fucking joint or two, and then you, the car gets so foggy that you're inhaling smoke even after you already smoked it. So then you get more high. Um, but it's also like, like some people don't do it in cars. Like a lot of people do it in rooms, like small rooms in like a house. Uh, but it's like brutal. Uh, I've, I've hotboxed a room before with my friends. It's not fun. It's. Imagine uh, feeling like you're breathing, but you're not capable of getting air. That's that's hot boxing. That's that's sitting in a room, uh, half breathing and just only breathing and smoke all the time. It's not fun. Hey, uh, Tyler, so you're killing yourself. Yeah, effectively. Uh, at least if you sat in it a long enough, you'd probably die, but you'd have to sit in it for a while, probably like days. Is this your, is this your address? Yeah, you live in? This is my, uh, my dad address. Oh, he ain't 21 either, bro. But he got a vertical ID. Oh, hell no. You don't have any weapons in the vehicle or no, anything? At all, nothing bad at all. What are you, are you smoking on a blunt or something? Yeah, it, 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 it was a, a little roach and my, my, my friend was doing that and then it just... Uh, it, 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 you, turn, you turn off the vehicle for me, man? Oh, do, do, do it again? You turn off the vehicle for me? It's Yo, fun. I feel like arresting somebody for smoking weed, though, is such a cringe thing to do. Oh my god. Like, even if... In New Jersey, you're not going to get arrested for smoking weed because weed's legal. But, like, if you, if you, I would understand, like, detaining somebody if they were smoking underage. But if you're, like, 22 and you're just fucking smoking a joint and they arrest you, like, that's, I would say, yeah, maybe this guy because he was probably going to drive home after this. But if you're just, like, smoking a joint on a sidewalk and you get fucking five years in prison, like, that's, that's crazy. Nothing it's crazy. not crack. And if it was, and see, that's what I don't get either, right? When people get arrested for being addicted to drugs, isn't that the most bad, somebody redeemed flex, isn't that the most backward ass logic? Like, hey, weed's different, right? Weed isn't, uh, doesn't have addictive properties like crack and shit, but, or uh, opioids. But if you're addicted to a drug, arresting somebody and then sending them to prison instead of getting them help for their addiction is fucking stupid. Uh, alternatively for marijuana, I would say, yeah, if this guy starts driving, yeah, you could give him a fucking DUI or some shit, but fucking arresting somebody, throwing them into prison because they smoked a joint, like, that's crazy. But then allowing somebody to do things that are worse, <laughs> like cigarettes, like, if you're just walking around, you're not driving, and you smoke a joint, but weed's illegal in your state, 
you're going to get thrown in prison. But somebody doing that's something equally as worse, if not worse, that you could buy at a fucking gas station. Like, that's... It, dude, our laws in the United States make no fucking sense. Like, I can, in New Jersey, smoke a joint. If I walk over the state line into Pennsylvania, I would get arrested. Yeah, or at least get fined in a misdemeanor. All right. You don't have any other drugs in the vehicle? At all. So it was just the blunt that y'all smoked? It was, uh, yeah, yeah, that shit. All right. So you just come over here just to hang It's up. illegal to flip a pancake four times in California. Is that true? What weed? It was just the first time thing. It's not like I do it all the time. I never done anything bad. Bro, so. I just tell him I have anxiety. <laughs> I'm sorry, officer. I just, I just, I, I was just stressed out, you know. And you're, you're kind of, you're kind of bumming me out right now. <laughs> you're kind of bumming me the fuck out right now, officer. So you wanna, you wanna fucking back away so I can roll this window up and turn on Kid Cuddy. Let's see. Okay. All right. Well, this is what we'll do, man. Since you cooperate with me, we're just gonna issue a trespass warning, and you'll be on your way. Oh. That means you just can't come back here anymore. Since you don't live here. I mean, there's no really no business. For Wait, he's going to let him drive. <laughs> he's going to let he's going to let him drive. Is he, but he just hot box the car. The cop's going to be like, all right, go home. <laughs> fucking dude. He was just sitting in a he was sitting in a car full of fucking marijuana smoke. He's probably so high. <laughs> the cop's like, yeah, just drive home. I maybe I maybe he's presuming the kid is just gonna get out of his car and walk somewhere, like, cause some people if you're crashing at your friend's house they'll hotbox a car that they're not gonna drive, just because they don't want to hotbox somebody's house. Here anyway. So what we're gonna we're gonna wait for PD to get here. Oh, guy caught smoking marijuana almost has a panic attack. Do we watch one more chat? Fuck. One more. One more. No? Yeah, now we're watching it, Charlie. What unit do you live in? I'm sorry, sir. You're gonna arrest me, sir? I'm sorry. Huh? I'm sorry. What unit do you live in? Huh? What unit do you live in? 434. 434? Yes. Are you on the lease? Yes. Why aren't you smoking inside the house? Please don't arrest me, sir. Please, please, please. Why wouldn't you smoke in the house if you, if you live I, here? I don't do it, sir. Huh? I can't do it because of my mom. You got your ID I feel you? like he's faking being stressed out. Yes, please don't. Please. Your ID. please don't arrest me. Please don't arrest me. But like no emotion. Just just like an honest How ask. long have you been living here for? Two years. Two years? Not even two years. One year. I thought that was you. You're Shut the fuck up, chat. He doesn't look like me. But you, your mom? Yes. Bro got the oh, Samsung. Oh, hell no. You ain't got to listen to him, bro. Just walk away. I won't do it anymore. Please, sir. Please. I'll... Hey, Ross. He got your cut, though? You t I don't have three lines on the side of my head. All right, man. Please, sir. Please. I have don't, don't you drive the Audi? Yes, sir. All right. Please don't. Please. I work, I work every day, sir. And but the, look, the problem is, is you're out here doing it. I won't do it anymore. No, I, I, I will stop because it's, I know it's illegal, but... I'm just, I'm a good kid, sir. I, I, I will stop. I will never do, never I'm, do I'm a good kid, sir. I only do crack on weekends. I'm not saying that you're bad. I'm just saying, look, man, if you're going to smoke weed. Now, this cop is chill, though. Wow. Like, do, do most cops not care about weed? Like, that's the vibe I'm getting from these videos. You got to do it at another spot. Uh, do it inside no, the house. I'm not going to do it anymore because I know it's illegal, but I'm just so That's good, literally so. you? Uh, that's not me. Dude, he's blonde and white. That's, <laughs> that's it. I'm a good kid. You know who we are? No, sir. Uh, we're security. We're not the police. No, I know, but it's still, I mean. Oh, he's security? Bro. So you relax. You're not going to go to jail, man. I'm not going to take you to jail. That's my heart. I'm, I'm scared. I, I, I understand I know that. I'm, I'm in the wrong. I know it. I know you're in the wrong, but if you smoke inside the house, we really don't care. But, but when, you, when you smoke out here, then it's right. a problem. Right. All right. No, but I, I, I cannot do it inside and I will stop because my mom's just going to give me a big, big trip. Oh, my God. They don't give a fuck. I thought they were police officers, dude. They're security guards. Just tell them, okay, I'll stop. And then fucking next day, go outside and just fucking rip a, rip a doobie, dude. What the fuck are they going to do? How, how old are you? Eight, 19. 19? But she's really worried about me and 
We from oh my God, just say, just say what the fuck, just, dude. They're security guards. Just say you're 21. Yeah, we never used to smoke, never. It was, it's legal in Germany, right? Yes, but she's still uh, legal in Germany. How did they know he was German? Oh, they probably gave him his ID. All right, next video. Moist for the sub, Axius for the sub, uh, Tristan for the three. Hybrid Indica or Sativa, which one do you prefer? prefer? Uh, they literally are all different. It depends on the exact strain. Saying that hybrid... Every, also, little fun fact. Every fucking weed you've ever smoked is a hybrid. If you've ever smoked marijuana. Number one, don't smoke weed unless you're 21 and it's legal in your state. But uh, any weed that claims to be a straight Sativa or Indica is lying. Uh, they're all just mixtures of different weeds. Uh, almost always. Secondly, saying something is a sativa and that'll make you have a head high and an indica will make you tired uh, is just a stereotype. Uh, indica and sativa is just the length of the weed. Uh, like the bud, right? Usually. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you can fact check me on that. But it really depends on the terpenes within the weed on the exact strain itself. Uh, an indica could get you hyper and a sativa could get you tired. Uh, it varies on the weed strain. Uh, Jay Yoder for the sub, Moist for the sub, Tristan for the three, Canicles for the sub, Timbo for the three. It's my birthday. I was born on Friday, which is funny. How are you? Uh, well, happy birthday. Uh, and uh, I'm good. How are you? Caro for the 15. Thank you for the $50. Dono loss for the sub, Dikiana for the three. I'm dealing with chronic abst absenteeism at school, and it's causing issues. My teachers even called the police once. While school is not difficult for me, anxiety and social anxiety make it hard to attend regularly. I, I understand that, man, but at, at the end of the day, you got to go to school. Yeah, it's going to, I know skipping class doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but if you're going to a public school, skipping class, the state will step in at some point, right? If you skip too many days, the state will step in at, like flat out. Uh, you could probably try and do online school, but I would say that's only going to further worsen your social anxiety, Right. Conquering social anxiety is in part conquered by dealing with social anxiety, right? Not always. I mean, especially if you have diagnosable anxiety. But being in scenarios makes it easy to be in further scenarios that are similar. So I would say going to class might be terrifying and sucky. But you got to realize, number one, most of the people that are in your classes are so focused on their lives that they don't give a fuck what you're doing with your life. Secondly... Um, it'll get easier. My attendance is still inconsistent. My grades are suffering. I suspect I have ADHD and take medication, but I lack an official disorder. Well, uh, or diagnosis. Well, I would secondly say don't take medicine for something you don't know you have. Uh, that wouldn't make sense. Uh, that could maybe make ye other things worse. If you just think you have ADHD and are taking Adderall, that's not good. Uh, so that's a second issue. Uh, it's my last year of middle school. Okay, that's another issue. Uh, and I'm feeling lost and guilty about skipping. Go to class. Your, your grades will, your, your grades will get better. If you want my honest opinion, that's the only thing that I can tell you to do, right? Uh, I understand you have social anxiety and anxiety. I would say don't take ADHD medicine unless you actually know you have diagnosable ADHD. How did you even get ADHD medicine to begin with if you don't know that you have it or not? Secondly, um, go to class, right? Uh, it, it, I know middle school doesn't matter in the scheme of life, but if you're already developing this habit of skipping class, high school is going to be a hellhole for you uh, if you don't figure your shit out, right? I, I don't know if I'm being too blunt, uh, but honestly, uh, passing class is as easy as showing up and paying attention. In my opinion, right? What Most of the time when people are failing classes, they're either not showing up or not paying attention, right? If you're in an AP class, that's different. But taking all of the easiest college prep classes through high school, if you just pay attention and put in a minimum amount of effort, meaning showing up and taking notes you will get good grades most of the time, right? Sometimes people have issues with studying or you might have ADHD, uh, in which case I would say go to a doctor and get a diagnosis.
But outside of that, my only advice could be show up to class and get diagnosed with ADHD before you start taking medicine for it. He pulls him over 500 feet away and gives him DI, says Tedicos, uh, Cyber for the, th uh, the sub, Giselle for the three. That's crazy for the guy in the video. Hit a blinker, though. Not right now. Uh, four inch for the three. I want to say thank you, everybody. Give me a laugh. Love the content. Ustong for the sub. I'm Sunny for the sub. Van got for the 1500. He says you could call me Van. Uh, Tedicos for the three. One time I hotboxed with my friends, then two of them puked, and one of them passed out, so we had to go to the hospital. Wow. Dude, the funniest shit is when people will go, okay. Sometime, yeah, yeah, sometimes if you get too high, you could actually have, like, heart issues. But most of the, po most of the time, like, I know, I have two friends that have gone to the hospital from just stressing themselves out from being high. And they convinced themselves that they were dying, but they were just really high. <laughs> and, like, and, and the hospital's going to do nothing. Like, they're just, they're just going to be like, okay, yeah, we'll give you, like, maybe some liquids, flush it out. That's about all they're going to do. Uh, static for the three. It's not broke. Uh, the broke way to get high, it's just a way to get higher than usual. Uh, yeah, but it's usually a way to save money. And it's a way to get higher than usual because you don't want to smoke more. You're not... Alternatively, you could either smoke one joint and sit in a hot room, a hot box room, and get really high, or just smoke two joints. Right? So that's why I said it is the broke way to get high. I'm not dissing it. I'm just saying, like, it's a way to save money. Uh, Moose for the seven hundred pennies. Joe Bar for the three. Uh, Joe Bar for the seven. Bat for the four. What are you being for Halloween? Probably Jason. Uh, Krizos, TBD, useful for the sub. Tenecos for the three. Uh, getting scared before the heart of even starts. Shronky for the sub. So many donos. Wow. Noob for the sub. J for the 10. Been in your streets for like a year and I never chat. Uh, Andrew for the three. W3 months. Uh, Moose, thank you for the gifteds again. Uh, Slick for the sub. A, Sid, Aid for the sub. TJ for the three. We just decriminalized in Philly. Live here all my life and smoked with cops. Check for the sub. Uh, Je well, that's in Philly. Justin, uh, Yegan, uh, Moise, and Axe for the sub. Uh, Moose for the three. How do you schedule your life? I'm 18 now with a job, and it's difficult. Write everything you're going to do uh, that you know you're going to do within the next month. Schedule out your week a week in advance. Write literally every single thing down that you're going to do within a specific day. Makes everything a hell of a lot easier. Uh, compartmentalize all that you're going to do in a specific subset. Uh, try and get everything done that you need to get done within the first five days of your week. Then you could have two days off. Select Van uh, and Spicy for the three. Uh, have you ever sipped green? I don't even know what the fuck that is. Joe Bartolozzi. in the wall! All right. Here we go. Lock in chat. Next video. Joe Bartolozzi out of context. Somebody made this video three months ago. Never saw it. Uh, but we'll give it a watch. They're in the walls! They're in the walls! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! I promise you, I will disappoint you. Dude, I'm shitting your hand. <laughs> Why did I say that? $12 million. Nobody commit a war crime. Uh, I remember that. Dude, the issue with half of these clips is I don't remember. I don't remember half of the shit. Mac Whopper, hamburger, cheeseburger, Big Mac Whopper, hum. Let's play football. World Cup. So if you fuck your first cousin, the funniest... <laughs> <laughs> when did I say that? When did I say that? So if you fuck your first cousin, the funniest person in Ohio. <laughs> Yo! Why are you in Mexico? Do you burn ants? You see this guy? Boo. He's addicted to crack. <laughs> <laughs> He's addicted to crack. I bet I bet you want crack, you fucking cracky. He's gonna <laughs> live. Oh my god. <laughs> what? I hate American movies because they won't kill children. <laughs> that, that one's not even out of context. That one's not even out of context. That's a standalone statement. I hate American movies because they don't kill children. 
they, they, it, it's it's like they have plot armor because oh oh it's a rated R movie we're gonna fucking the villain's gonna slaughter fucking five hundred people oh but it's too fucked up to murder a toddler. If we're panning into this guy's the 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 craziest dude ever. Oh, he has no morals. But then he'll, he'll, he'll save a child. I'm like, what? Oh, can I hold your child? And I'm like, yeah. I was not going to burn down the local McDonald's. I actually shove a fist up your ass, right? This whole thing, elbow up. There's a mound of seaweed the size of Georgia floating through the Caribbean. Great job. <laughs> oh, that was the most scared I've ever been. That no, 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 no. Summer of '58, I was more scared. Mama! Mama! T Turn the cameras off. I'm taking a break. I thought that motherfucker was gonna bend me over when I fucking dropped that shit. You're the fucking banana, bitch! Have fun in the work camps. Oh I... no! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god, bro! She like these. Are, these are so bad out of context. Now that's bad. May or may not have taken a grocery cart back to my friend's house. That's not even out of context. I I, I took a grocery cart one time. It was, I didn't steal it from a grocery store. It was like a mile away from a grocery store, but it was just sitting in the middle of the road. Like, well, I don't know if some homeless guy left or somebody else stole it. I was just like, you know, I'm going to take this. What? What? This used to give me nightmares. Ah! No! What's this? Call the fucking cops! The zombie ate the fucking infant. Right. Like, good shit, right? You kissed your dad. <laughs> I blew up your house. <laughs> oh, my God. That's about Tom Brady's kid. <laughs> What's that thing they used to do in, like, caveman times where they would just punch a hole in your skull? And then he's gonna be behind you. I I went on a jet ski. Ain't nobody give a fuck that you went on a jet ski. I love, I love, I love, I love. You're and he's a meth cook. Gwitty on me. Yeah, hit the gwitty. No, hit the gwitty. Yeah, do the dance. Do the dance. Oh my god, yo, no, that was actually crazy, bro. That was my best moment on stream ever. When I almost got a hole in one. Fuck. It was in St. Martin, the drinking age is 18! Fucking Jimmy Donaldson shot me in the fucking skull. Fucking hitting the blocks. Ah! Fuck! 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 Bro, how did this kid even find half of these clips? Do I say out of pocket shit that often? Like, I, yo, I, like, him pulling those clips where I was like, oh, you, like, crack, you fucking cracky. Like, I, bro, I don't even remember saying that. Ah! He's getting arrested for three counts of drug charges and one count of terrorism. Sharp, I'm gonna start fucking blood curdling screaming in about three seconds. Do you have the ears? There's Minecraft. There's Minecraft caves on the screen. That's his phone. They're in the walls. They're in the walls. You're going to give me $100. And I'm telling you, it will be a bad show. Talk to you like a man. No, that was a great idea that I had. <gasps> I forgot about that business idea where I would promote, I would market the show as this is going to be the worst comedy show you've ever seen, right? And, I, and it would be a $100 entrance and you would, you would show up and I would just be sitting there eating like a banana.
right or something like and that and then i would leave right or or i would just i would just sit there and yap about absolutely nothing with like muting headphones on so i couldn't even hear the audience response and then the next show it would be this show's going to be even worse than the last right and people are going to be like i need to see this and then the next show i'm just not even going to show up right the next show it's going to be zero re- it's going to be in per- in the terms and conditions zero no refunds everybody's going to sit there i'll have like an opening act for like 20 minutes of somebody else and then i just won't show up and i'll take everybody's money right and then they can't be mad because they knew that it was going to be i promised that the show would be worse than last and then i just didn't show up what you're under arrest for sir mr shut the fuck up please But, like, you ain't going to be collabing with Big Dick Dom. (laughs) Yo. Ooh, the headset that. What's going on? South Park Elementary. If you want to be like me, say, yeah. I'm going to be shipping air rack to Guantanamo Bay. Yo, chat, what emotion, what emotion do you get from this image? Of, of a random wall with two fucking metal rods just jammed through the ceiling. Oh, that's an the- art piece, bro. I thought the screen was all fucked up. That's a video, of, that's literally an art piece. Side of the wall. And I can order an unlimited amount of alcohol. Let me just start fucking Yo, did drink- y'all see the guy that's getting sued by an art museum because they paid him $70,000 for two pieces? And he gave them two blank portraits entitled Take the Money and Run. He got paid like 70 grand to like commission art for this museum or like art fucking showcase or whatever the fuck. And he just gave them two blank canvases like other artists legitimately do titled it Take the Money and Run and then just and then just never fucking showed up. Okay. Right. And he's like, what? And I'm like, the game, Minecraft. And he's like, somebody knocks on the door. I go, I'm in here. And I hear, oh, okay. Yo, I walked into a guy taking a fucking shit at a, at a U-Haul the other day. Oh my God, bro. Lock the door when you go to the fucking bathroom. Can I just say that? I forgot to tell y'all this. Bro, and what was so awkward about it was he was standing in line with me. And, yo, have y'all ever done that? Like, you walk into somebody taking a shit? It is, the, it is the worst, right? Normally, you just walk away. But I had to pee, and it was a long line. So I had to get back in line, and he had to get back in line. And so it made it even worse, because it was like he made direct, me and him made direct eye contact. Let me just pan out the scenario. I'm like, there's like five people in front of me. And this guy's behind me. He's probably like 45. And he just disappears. And I go, oh, maybe he went to his car. And then like two minutes later, I'm like, I got to take a piss. So I see the bathroom. I get out of line. I shuffle on over. I penguin waddle over to the fucking bathroom. Open that bitch. Swing that bitch open as fast as I've ever fucking swung. Take a step in. And he goes, oh, oh, oh. And he, this is his face. Just staring at me, right? Pants down to his ankles. And it's like, that. it's just ingrained. It's still ingrained. It's been like two weeks. It's been ingrained in my mind, right? And then, so I just walk away. And what's really fucked up, and, you know, I'll say, I'll say this. I didn't shut the door. <laughs> it was a single stall bathroom, right? So it wasn't like you walk in and then it was like I opened a stall. I, I... I just, I panicked, right? And so I, I swung open the door. He goes, oh, no, no. And then I kind of like half push it. And I just walk, I just walk away fast as shit, right? Like a speed walk. Like I, I, I didn't want anybody else to notice what just happened. So I just like kind of like. And then I just kind of stand there. And it was like about this open. And then I look over to it and I go, oh, fuck. And I'm with Brooke. And Brooke goes, you didn't. And she's like, what happened? I'm like, there was a guy taking a shit in there. She goes, you didn't shut the door. I look over and I see his fingers go like this. 
over the handle, and he just yanks it. And then I hear the fucking button lock. <laughs> Next time, lock it, pal, and I won't fucking walk in on you taking a shit. Oh, why didn't you knock? Uh, that's what a fucking, no that's, that's what a lock is for. <laughs> that's what a lock is for, right? Now, if it's at a, an area that I know the lock doesn't work, I'll knock. But the, the reason there's a lock is because I hit you with one of these. And if I hear, I don't go in, right? <laughs> Obviously, because I can't. I know somebody's in there. What the fuck? Because it's loud, too. They have an AC. Every place that you need to knock to know if they're, like, at a Chipotle bathroom, right? Or somewhere, like, at any bathroom where you need to knock to hear them where there might not be a lock. It's, there's the AC right above you going, so I knock. I've done that before. I'll knock. The whole, every time, every time. I'll knock, nothing. Knock, nothing. Pull the door. I'm in here. Every time, bro. Every time. I've walked in on probably 10 people taking shits before. And I, every time I go in after them and the door locks. What the fuck? Like, if you walk into a bathroom, the first thing I'm doing is locking the door. Right? Because, especially if I have to take a shit. Maybe if I got to take a piss, I'll just like, you know, stand away from the door in case somebody walks in. But fuck. Dude, you're telling me you're going to take a dump and you're not going to lock the door? And if the door didn't lock, I've had that happen. I took a shit in Washington, D.C. when I was in eighth grade. I took a shit. In, this is a story I haven't told. In Washington, D.C. in eighth grade, I, t I had to take a dump so bad when we are on a horse carriage ride for my eighth grade trip that I literally made my teacher pull the horse carriage over and I said, I'll meet you guys later. I have to take a fucking dump. I didn't say fuck, but I said I have to take a dump. Because I want, I didn't want to curse to my teacher. He goes, okay, because I have his phone number, so I could just text him where they're going. Um, because it was like they're, the chaperones had to like text the students in case they got lost, because we had like independency then. And so I go take a dump in the Starbucks bathroom, no lock. That entire time, I'm just I, I it was the this is the problem, right? Sometimes the door is so close to the toilet that if there's no lock, you could just put your foot in front of it. This door was six feet away, so that whole time I'm just take just imagine. I'm just eyeing, I'm eyeing the knob. The whole time, I'm just waiting, waiting to see if somebody, if somebody, I'm, I'm in here. Just fast as shit. I was waiting for it. Somebody knocked and I said, I'm in here. And then they didn't come in. But that was a goaded knock. See, if that was me, I wouldn't have knocked. Right in, right in. Oh, no lock, no lock. That means, that means it's open. Right, that means it's that means there's nobody in the bathroom. You have a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and a fucking toddler and a kid on the way, and you're like, let's go to Cancun. Do you fucking listen? I stabbed Ginger for the sub, Katie for the three. Hope you have a good day. Thanks for making me laugh when I need it. Golden for the three. Is it bad I'm addicted to sniffing my laundry detergent? Yeah. I swear for the thousand biddies. Thanks for being the best streamer on the platform. Thank you for the fucking thousand biddies. Slippy thousand for the sub, icy for the fucking three. I said six. I want to let you know I came over here from YouTube. W ass streamer. Don't listen to other people put a uh, cringe ass quote on your merch with your face. Uh, your merch is dope. Thank you. Uh, I'm excited for the drop. Hike surf for the uh, the sub. Freddy for the three. I walked in on a guy using the bathroom. He got mad that I didn't knock. I was at work. Skittles for the three. Uh, or Skibbles for the three. Oreo feeling lucky suspect and cream for the sub. Van for the three. I shat myself in Walmart once. Oof. Jack for the three. Your content's amazing. Keep up the great work. Spicy for the three. Have you ever sipped? Oh, I already read that. Ginger for the sub. Yo, I'm going to ask guys a, a question here. If you're peeing in a toilet at a public restroom and you miss a little bit and you pee on the seat, are you wiping it off? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. Um, out that bathroom. <laughs> I, yo, I could drench the whole seat. I'll walk out. I'll just fucking. Because <laughs> everybody else does it. <laughs> you walk in. If this, uh, for the women that have never been in a men's bathroom before, you walk into a men's bathroom. If you open a toilet, there's a fucking one in two chance. There's pee everywhere. 
Somebody said I piss on it purposefully. All right, that's fucked up. Love for the sub, shrug for the three. Or for the five. How does math work in high school? I'm taking pre-calc, which is 11th grade math for my county. When I teach ninth grade, I'm required to take calculus. What do you mean teach ninth grade? You mean join ninth grade or do ninth grade? Take calculus or just uh, I take an elective choice class? If you're taking pre-calc in eighth, you are not taking pre-calc in eighth grade. I refuse to believe you're taking pre-calc in eighth grade. Most people take algebra or geometry freshman year. They take pre-calc. They take geometry or pre-calc sophomore. Wait. Yeah. No, algebra two. So you're telling me you took... You're in eighth grade and you've already taken pre-algebra, algebra, algebra, algebra one, or which is algebra, geometry and algebra two. I took geometry, algebra two, pre-calc, calc. If you already took pre-calc, you're probably going to take calc or unless you get stat or some shit. You're, if you've already taken pre-calc, you're probably not required to take calc, but you're required to take math uh, for sure. I see for the sub, hammy for the three. When I used to work at a movie theater, some dude, I don't, you gotta ask your school, dude. I don't know what your fucking school would say. Some dude dropped a load on top of the toilet instead of it. That's nuts. The melon for the three. I remember in second grade, I knew some kids that peed in the bathroom trash can. But I was in elementary school. There would be these two kids that would poop on the toilet seat. And I, I remember them because they told me they would do it. And I was like, why? They would just shit on the toilet seat. Just, I, I would walk in sometimes, there'd just be a fucking turd just on the toilet seat. Or some kid shitting in a urinal. I've seen that before. To my brother when I was three and we had to go to the hospital. My mom actually punched me. I had a black eye for four months. Please! Please! I I'm not playing Fortnite! <laughs> oh no. Oh my god, only up. Humming a tune. Or merely dreaming we were snow. How the hell did I just fucking miss six putts in a fucking row? What body part do you want me to touch? I was gonna say, what the fuck? This ain't a clip. All right, yeah, that was a W video. All right, next one. Next one, then we gotta get through the scary reacts. Actually, we'll fuck it. We'll, yo, do y'all wanna watch if humanity the worst things about every generation or just hop right into the fucking scary shit? Not even scary. The first two aren't scary. They're just about Halloween horror movie video and then uh, about ghosts on Joe Rogan. All right, we'll save this for Sunday. Goofy horror movies. Yeah, because I just ranted. We're already, we're already been live for about an hour. It's goofy awe. It's really, really goofy awe. Why is it so awe goofy? Growing up, I hated horror movies. And it wasn't because they scared me. Don't get it twisted. It was oh, no, I hated horror movies because they fucking scared me. I was a bitch about that shit, dude. I was so scared. Oh, my God. If uh, Michael, if you played Michael Myers for me when I was, like, 10, I honestly think I probably would have cried. Now, I think that shit is, like, not, it's not scary at all. It's, like, just watching Michael Myers, it's like, oh, this is a fucking stupid slasher film. Like, there's no suspense. Was? Yeah. You like horror? You still are scared of Okay. Okay. Settle down, bud. Yeah, I'm scared of At Dead of Night and fucking FNAF and shit. You know why? Because that's scary as fuck, right? I'm playing At Dead of Night. I'm, it's dead silent. I'm walking around hotel rooms and some dude's chasing me with a bat. Uh, that's fucking scary, right? And there's ghosts. Fuck off, right? <laughs> Settle down. But like some movies like will still scare me today, but a lot like slasher films used to scare me. Now they don't. I think that's that's how people get entered into horror is through slasher films. Like, if you can handle a slasher film, you could probably eventually handle, like, The Conjuring. It's Mason for the 10. I'm at work. I uh, have this Walmart money, Joe. Thank you for the fucking 10, It's Mason. I appreciate that shit. Uh, that point for the three. When I was at basic uh, training, one of the females took a shit in the shower, and all of them got evicted, meaning they had to drag 100 pounds worth of equipment down three flights of stairs and spend the night outside. Why did somebody poop in the shower? Lil Fazzy for the sub. The Mountain for the three. I remember in second grade, I knew some kids that peed in the bathroom trash can. Yikes. Henny for the three. When I used to work at a movie theater, some dude dropped a load on the toilet instead of in it. I already read that. Lil Fazzy for the sub. They didn't waffle stomp it down the drain. 
Yo, I had a friend in high school that wouldn't wash his ass before he... If he took a shit and then he knew he was going to shower, he would just wash his ass in the shower. And I was like, dude, that's foul. Like, because then shit is literally dripping down your legs while you're in the shower. All right. Lock in. I was too mature. I would have much rather watched Wow Wow Wubsy. But as I grew up, I started giving horror movies a little more of a chance. But the more I watched, the more I realized there's a lot of not scary movies. One could even say there's a lot of goofy movies. Like we can start with Thanksgiving. It's literally a movie about a turkey named Turkey that kills people. Nice tits. I have never heard of a Thanksgiving themed horror movie. Can't make this up. Then we have Jack Frost, the killer snowman, whose movies are pretty much just the Chucky movies, just a lot worse. And instead of being a killer doll, he's Olaf's cousin. And you can't be a ripoff of the Chucky movies without having a kid main character. But instead of having Andy, we got this kid. You'll never be Andy. This movie, it has a lot of issues. There's the, you know, terrible POV kills. The fact that we never see the snowman actually move. And the characters in this movie are really stupid. We can analyze a random scene. After getting into an argument with his daughter, who also happens to be the girl from Scary Movie. Nice. One of the random side characters goes outside for a smoke. And while he's out there, he starts hearing voices. And instead Smoking of- Smoking out of a pipe is crazy, dude. That's some 1600s shit. That's some Albert Einstein shit. Smoking out of a fucking pipe. Going back inside like a regular human. Buying raw tobacco. Ugh. Starts investigating like he's the- Don't you smoke out of a pipe? What do you think, I'm fucking Harry Potter? That didn't make sense. That was a bad joke. See, add that into the skin of a goose. Add that, add that. Fuck! God, you gotta have one shitty joke a stream, chat. You gotta have one shitty joke. That was a bad joke. No, it was- I meant Gandalf. I, I was I was there. I was there. I was there. Right? You know what I mean? I have the joke. It was I I said it to I had to think of it. I had to think of it quicker, right? I went Harry Potter. I should I I meant Gandalf, right? Which is in Harry Potter. Pee in my bowl. Yeah, you're just a fucking pee in my bowl, pal. You mean nothing to me. You're a pee in my bowl. <laughs> You're a pee in my bowl of peas, pal. You're fucking one of many. Like, that one actually made sense, okay? Y'all tell me that was a bad joke. You mean Dumbledore? Oh, my God. Yo, they're both old and have beards. Dumbledore smoking a pipe. Is that only Gandalf? Ugh, God, I wasn't close. Fuck. Nah, one of those AI photos of Harry Potter high. Harry Potter pipe. Oh, do they literally have a Harry Potter smoking pipe? Harry Potter pipe AI. Oh, this showed up. Damn, Harry. Damn, Harry. Looking a little bit ripped. Looking a bit a little bit old jacked there. Same with Dumbledore. God, what a stupid fucking name. Yo, one of my friends made me realize that the Harry Potter movies aren't that good. I love the Harry Potter movies, and then I talked to my friend about it, and he was like, they're so shit. And I was like, why are they bad? He was like, the story's great, but when you think about it, the fights are actually fucking awful. They could have made Harry Potter into some epic-ass fight, like when it was him versus Voldemort, but instead they just went... <sighs> for like three minutes. You say this all the time. I've said that maybe three times on stream. Maybe three. Maybe three ever. In the last year, right? I say this all the time. Shut, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Newsflash. I'm going to repeat myself on stream sometimes. I fucking stream what? 95 hours a month for the last three years? Oh my God, I repeated myself. Oh, fucking kill me. Oh, fuck. Oh, just fuck. Oh, just fucking lay me out right here. Oh, my God. I have to say something original every fucking day. Every fucking day, dude. Just fucking lay me out. Lay me out on a fucking board, dude. Put me on the rack. Fucking you stretch me out, bud. Oh, my God. The freaking mystery game. Me, personally, call me crazy, but I would just assume it's the snowman. And after that, all you got to do is just lay out some salt and call it a night. But since Brody over here wanted to keep investigating, he ended up getting a whole axe shoved down his throat. Gosh, I only axed you. I'm going next video. I don't like this video. And you pissed me off. Whoever the fuck said that I said that before.
the craziest goat stretch you out? Yeah, on the rack. Oh my god, you guys just just not understanding the reference, eh? <laughs> just not understanding medieval torture method references, eh? The rack? <laughs> you don't get it? Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Right, this is you. Meow, <laughs> right over the head. Fuck. Ever had asked for the three. Don't know if you remember me, but I'm back, uh, and chat isn't ready for me. July for the subset for the three. Mr. Safety for the three. When I was in preschool, you were only cool if you touched the toilet water after a dude peed in it. What? Best believe I was cool as fuck in preschool. Mulvezi for the sub. When I was in preschool, I used to race kids that told me they were faster because they had the Nike swoosh and that made them faster, and then I, I beat them in a race. Oh, wait, where's that chatter? Somebody say it. Somebody say it. Oh, you've said this before. You've, you've said this before. You said this six months ago, Joe. I remember. Why did you just say it again? I don't know. Maybe because uh, not everybody was fucking here last time. The craziest ghost stories in Joe Rogan history. Lock in. Type locked in, chat. Also, I'm pretty hyped because I'm going to Applebee's later. I'm going to give you guys my, my later plans. I'm going to Applebee's later. I'm going to try out the dollar read. Uh, uh. FR dash for the 25 gifted subs. Dup. What the fuck? Dude, thank them if you got a sub and thank you FR dash for the fucking 25 gifted. Bro, been popping off with the subs. Damn. What the fuck? Thank you for the fucking subs, man. Sub for the three. All right, if I'm 15 and a character in a show is 12, but the actress herself is 15, um, I'm not e I'm not even getting into that fucking stupid hypothetical. Uh, the melon for the three. I was that little kid that peed in a urinal with their pants down. That was like half of every dude that's ever pissed in a urinal. I think every toddler did that. It's just like there were some kids that did that until like fifth grade. And, and you would walk into the bathroom and be like, dude, just fucking pull your pants up. Ever dash for the 25 gifted though. Thank you for the 25 subs. Uh, and so, yeah, thank you for the 300 biddies, man. I'm not even getting into that fucking whack ass hypothetical. Justin for the sub. What I, I, I know what you're saying. I, I, I wouldn't say, yeah, if, if they're the same as, age as you, that's not odd. But yeah, they're playing a different character. If you're attracted to the character, that's weird. If you're attracted to the character, that's weird. If you're, if you're attracted to the person, that's different. Justin for the sub, Joe's for the three. If an alien changed Brooke to a fight and she called you, would you go and help her out? Uh, yeah. I would want to see the alien. The craziest ghost stories. Lock in, chat. Lock in, lock in, lock in. Oh, as I was saying, Applebee's Dollarita. Gonna, te gonna test that out. How many Dollaritas do I kill? I'll go five. Because I don't really like, I don't really like overly syrupy margaritas. And I think that Applebee's Dollar Margaritas are gonna probably give me uh, a brain hemorrhage. Uh, I don't think they're going to be good. <laughs> How good can a dollar drink be? The craziest ghost stories in Joe Rogan history. Effort Ash for the three. Haven't really gifted in a while. Felt like doing something. Dude, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, and I haven't seen you in stream in a bit. Uh, but welcome, bro. Craziest ghost stories in Joe Rogan history. These are the craziest ghost stories ever told on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. So tell me about the Queen Mary. There's this one room. Be Some dude just said L video, the shit boring. We are 11 seconds in. We are 11 seconds in. Little Joe Bart salute. Little Joe Bart salute. We'll see you. Uh, time out. We'll see you in what? Uh, 160, uh, 100... Yeah, we'll go 176,453 seconds. How long is that? Who knows? 340. Uh, that hadn't been open for 30 years and allegedly... I gotta rewind now. Now you're gonna watch those boring 11 seconds again. These are the craziest ghost stories ever told on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. So tell me about the Queen Mary. Oh, this There's is Sam and Colby. There's this one room. What the fuck did they go on Joe Rogan? B340. 
uh, that hadn't been open for 30 years, and allegedly they closed it down because uh, there's multiple unexplained murders and or suicides in that room. Uh, and we're like, whoa, like, you know. If, if I think I could resist the ghost possessing me. If I'm in a room and Queen Mary goes, and she tries forcing herself inside of me, I'm just going to go. And I'm going to tense up. And then and then it's just not. See, yeah, I, you know, I was just asking about out-of-pocket, uh, like, things that I say and, like, things that don't. Like, if you clip that, that just made, that, that just made no sense. Right? In context, it does. Right, I'm not gonna get possessed. Per, uh, parent for the sub, Shadow for the ten gifteds. Dub in the chat for that. Thank you, Shadow five oh six four for the ten gifted subs. Thank them if you got a sub. Thank you for the fucking ten gifteds, dude. Popping off with the subs today. Already a ninety five subs in an hour, dude. Shadow, thank you for the fucking ten gifteds. And effort Ash, thank you again for the twenty five. This is the first week this is open after thirty years. This is gonna be an amazing like, story to tell or you know video film. And so we went in there trying to make something or like trying to get something we obviously didn't really believe in that much so we we're like all right let's just see if it happens if there's going to be a haunted location it'll be this uh we we toured around did the whole thing uh weren't getting much and we were kind of frustrated at that point because we're like all right this is supposed to be the cream of the crop this is supposed to be the big big wig like why can't we get something to happen uh and so it was four. and that's where you pull some phasmophobia shit and you just start saying their name over and over again to annoy them. Queen Mary, Queen Mary, Queen Mary, Queen Mary, Queen Mary. And then you lock your friend in the fucking room. Oh my God. You imagine if that was like real life, phasmophobia was like real life. Vira for the three. First time donating was wondering if you have any, uh, gotten the thing for yourself beanies yet. Uh, no, they're not in yet. Also, do you like ghost energy? Uh, I've never had ghost energy. Four o'clock in the morning at this time, we've been trying for hours of just sitting in circles, like asking out. And we didn't like, have okay. any equipment at this time. This is like the first place we ever went to. So we were just like, since when the fuck has this guy's voice been that deep? <laughs> uh, I don't remember that. Meandering like the hall hallways being like, is anything here? Yeah, like, <laughs> like just, just trying to get something to happen right. uh, on camera and nothing w was happening. And so we're like, fine, I guess. Let's do this. Let's just like leave. Like it's, it's fun to tell the story. Let's just leave. Uh, and so we turn off the camera, start packing up. We walk, like start walking towards the door. And as soon as we turn, like actually we're about to like get out of the room, the faucet turns on like full blast for four seconds and then turns back off. And we all like actually like, you know, freeze and freak out. Two of our roommates that were there at the time, like just immediately started like crying. We were like, we ran in. We we're like, okay, how, how was that actually possible at all? Maybe that's a sign of like, it doesn't want to be filmed and it doesn't want us to leave so maybe let's just not not film this and try one more time just for the just for the heck of it and so that's what we did but this time it worked and oh but i'd sneak a camera in oh that ghost wouldn't fucking know i'd hit him with one of these <laughs> i'd hit him with, i'd hit him with one of these with one of these just just fucking just, just. Oh, you a bitch! You ain't gonna come out, Queen Mary. Oh, what are you gonna fucking kill me? Oh, and then just, I got that. I got that bitch on film in my pocket. <sighs> to like the weirdest extent. And then they levitate my phone and snap it in half. Oh my god, I'd shit myself. Austin just fucking texted me. I gotta respond. Oh, and Brooke texted me. Un memento. <gasps> Grub for the sub. Austin said I'm good looking. I appreciate that. Capper for the three. I just ate a cosmic brownie for the first time. It was terrible. You take that back. You take that back. You take that back right now. <sighs> Shut the fuck up. We just like put put away all of our cameras. We sat in the most serious tone saying like, okay guys, like before this didn't really believe. So like, if this is happening, let's, let's have something happen. And so we all sit in the dark together and we start calling out questions and we're like, okay, like, is there anybody here? And we hear a knock. And so we're like, okay, maybe that's something. Very faint though. It was like a tap. Like a tap. And so we're like, okay, let's just run with that. Can you tap more than once? And there was like three taps. We're like, 
Okay, this is really weird. Yeah, but there's one guy in the background going. I gotta go to one of these haunted places at some point to just fucking see it, dude. Like, can we start asking questions? Because I don't believe it. Like, it's so hard for me to believe this. Like, do you, do you guys believe this shit? Fuck. Like, I want to, but it, it, in my mind, it's like, dude, like, somebody could just be tapping. Somebody could be in another room. How loud are you saying this? Like, is it possible that someone could have heard you from another room? That's what we thought. So, go, going, like, we were talking probably like this, but then there was times where we talked, like, really quiet. And, like, we, we tested everything. But, so what we did is we decided, let's ask questions using these taps. So, we, we said, tap once for yes, tap anything more than once for no. We had a yes or no conversation for 35 minutes. Yo, you know what would be really fucked up? Yo, you're sitting with your friend in this fucking haunted house and you're like, if you're real, possess my friend. And then you just fucking leave. If you're real, kill my friend. Right now, you won't. You won't. You're not real. <laughs> your friend would hate you forever, bro. Somebody redeem Plex. Rub for the sub. Something that we cannot explain. Mm -hmm. And we did everything because we were skeptical at this did point. Did you film any of this? We didn't think so. But apparently, one of our friends, he's like super religious, was like, hey, no matter what, the entire night, he was keeping an audio recording in his pocket. We had no idea. We had no idea that he was doing that. So nobody talked about it. So if there was something there, no, it didn't know either. Yeah, we, we had no idea he had pulled that, that out. Like, we genuinely were like, okay, no one's filming. We even say in this audio recording, like, no one's filming. Like, this no bullshit. Like, everyone, please, like, be serious about this. And so we had this conversation. Bro, but the thing about being a ghost is that, like, isn't that utterly terrifying? If ghosts are real, that means that there's a chance that when you die, you will forever be fucking trapped <laughs> in in this area. <laughs> That'd be awful. You're just roaming. You're just, like, possessing this one fucking room. And then what happens if they knock down the building? Are you just, like, unleashed? Are you Are you free now? Or when the earth explodes? What happens then? FR Dash for the three. Might be for asking, but what's the schedule for this week? Where, where's Dave the Diver? Dave the Diver's not coming back. Today's going to be uh, mainly like scary videos and shit because it's Friday the 13th. Tomorrow I'm not live because it is, uh, I'm taking pictures for merch and the Tommy Fury fight and shit is then and I want to watch that. Uh, Sunday I'll be live at 2 doing reacts. Monday will be a 4.30 Thief Sim Prison Sim stream. Last Prison Sim uh, gaming on the stream, but still continuing Prison Sim. Uh, Tuesday, I'm not live. Wednesday, we're going to do more at dead of night. Maybe another scary game. Thursday, I'll be games with chat, whether it be fall guys, party animals, Fortnite customs, shit like that. Um, next Friday, will be Spider-Man. Next Saturday, I'm doing games against Jojo at two. Next Sunday, I'll be reacts. And then the week after that, I, I have planned the Halloween, uh, worst trick or treat items review and some other shit and more Spider-Man and everything. Charlie for the sub one, one SM for the four. Uh, somebody said this is boring. Oh, well, then you could just, you know, leave. Uh, all, all of his chats are shitty, too. Yo, another Joe Bart salute for this fucking jerk off. Uh, how do I gamble my Bart Bucks and put money on polls? Uh, we're not doing any polls or money. You don't put money on polls and you don't gamble Bart Bucks today. It's a react day. Charlie for the sub. Uh, it's Riley for the three. Uh, what do you think, uh, are the scariest psychological paranormal or slashers? Cause I'm more, uh, scared of paranormal. Psychological horrors are usually the scariest. Grub for the sub and caper for the three. Cause it's the most realistic and it's just terrifying. Damn, do I want to keep this kid banned or do we unban him? Yo mods, unban him, time him out for like an hour. You got raided? Yeah, I, I my chat's freaking out. AJK, thank you for the raid of five. I appreciate that. Kyler for the three. Been watching for two years. Want to say I appreciate everything you do. Thank you. Station back and forth, and we try to trick it. You know, like we would ask questions in different manners, like, okay, is there more than one of you? Yes. And then we'd say, are you alone? And it would say no. Back and forth, trying to get this thing, and this, the story kept straight the entire time. Mm -hmm. And we were like, okay, come on. There, there could be someone like screwing with us this is like on you know the news of being like haunted place yeah. like what's going on well what was crazy about it too is all the knocks they weren't just coming from one one section 
that would make sense if like maybe something outside was like tapping um these knocks would be like below us and then above us to our sides some would be louder than other ones we went out to the hallway a couple times and we realized that we were like the last room um besides like this like utility room to our left um and obviously we had like basically that whole like floor to ourselves um as well since it was super late um yeah and, and then like sometime in the middle we were like like okay like let's like ask a question under our breath yeah like okay like this this thing does not want us to leave and at that moment the entire floor shook boom like we were all like oh my god what was that was you could feel the vibration in your feet crashing on the ship or something was huge and so we're like okay so this thing doesn't want us to leave maybe we should just like ask questions under our breath for the rest of the time just so we know it's not some employee it's not someone like screwing with us the entire time so fast fast uh fast forward to how attractive would you say you were when you weren't dead queen mary how bad how bad what level gapped do you think you had was it a level one do the amount of knocks for the amount of gap that you had to the very end we were like okay we've had just starts going like knocking had a bunch of conversations at this point we really believed if this is truly something i want to know something about something deeper than just yes or no questions or or just like something silly of like how many people are here so we, i decided let's ask about religion and i ask out is there a heaven and it knocks oh! three times meaning no and at that point our two religious friends that were there like immediately jumped up and said we have to leave right now and we had <laughs> i have i've had enough of this ghost oh. Oh. you can fuck off i'm gonna sit there and fucking talk to that motherfucker what he starts giving me answers about like the, the meaning of everything and my religious friend goes <laughs> he just said there's no heaven i'm leaving <laughs> okay what <laughs> fucking i'm gonna stay <laughs> i'm gonna keep asking it questions like i'm not dissing him but like damn bro like oh my god they said no <laughs> why are you why are you going to talk to ghosts if you're gonna be mad at their answers no idea like, why why what, what's going on like i'll tell you in the car like dude like just don't look back let's go let's leave and so we walked out we left we got all the way to the bro i'm gonna start asking like yes or no questions about like are you stuck here forever is there an i mean is there an afterlife is stupid because there are ghosts so yes obviously there would be but like what somebody said l take you could say l take you're telling me if you're open enough you're a religious person. You're open enough to go talk to a ghost. You ask a ghost that you believe is a ghost and you believe is real, is there heaven? It knocks three times for no. And you get so mad that you leave. That's illogical, in my opinion. I think that's you just being so found set in your beliefs that you're not open to hearing something else. Like what? If you believe in a ghost and it says no and you get mad, like what? Like I like you believe it up to that point and then it's just like okay, no this is bullshit. That doesn't make any sense, right? I'm like I'm he explains it car without anyone saying anything. And as soon as we got in the car, we're like what's going on? Like why do we have to leave? He's like, "Well, in the Christian religion, the is anything like demonic or evil is supposed to like basically disprove that there is a heaven in mm -hmm. order, you know. And so what they were saying is <gasps> Or it could also just be telling you that the what? What? That's still that's still just fucking bro. Oh my god. So then if it ever so then I'll never know. I'll never know, right? If it, in the religion it was so if it says, oh, if it knocks three times, it says no, that means it's a demon. Or, or it could just also be a fucking ghost. <laughs> like, like, yes, there's a chance that that's true. I'm not doubting that. I'm not dissing that belief. 
But saying that if it says there's no heaven, that means it's stop being disrespectful. Am I being disrespectful? Honestly, if I'm being disrespectful, I, I apologize. But I don't understand that. To try and say that if any ghost ever knocks three times for no to the question of if is there a heaven, that definitively means that that ghost is a demon, just rules out any possible disproval of the religion. I it it's it's like it's like an un it's an un undisprovable point. J because because saying that oh if it says no that means it's a demon that means we have to leave is meaning that we'll never be able to get a genuine no. I just don't get that right. I'm sorry if that's disrespectful. I I don't disrespect other people's beliefs. If you've I'm not disrespecting Christianity. I was at one point a Christian. I do philosophy streams all the time. I'm a philosophy and religion major in college. I respect every religious belief. Every faith is, in my opinion, as grounding and as believable as anybody else's faith, right? Whether it be Buddhism, Hinduism, Christianity, uh, Islam, all of that, right? But the idea that if something knocks no to the question, is there heaven? It's a demon we have to leave. I think that rules out any capability of ever disproving that belief. I think that's unfair. To make that assumption is all I'm saying. I'm, I apologize if that was disrespectful. I, that's all I can say. If you think that's disrespectful and you're mad at me, I'm sorry, right? But at the end of the day, I don't understand. I, I, I think I'm making a foundational point. I don't think that you can rebut what I just said to say that if there, if you say no, if a ghost says no, that ghost is a demon. Heaven is real. That demon is in hell and trying to persuade you means that if you ever are able to talk to a ghost, that ghost can never say that heaven isn't real because therefore it's a demon and you can't talk to it. It's, it's, an, it's, it makes it impossible to, to disprove it. It's unfair in scientific discussion standards at least because it's something that me it's a broad assumption yes it could be true that if it says no it could be a demon but that doesn't mean that if it says no it's definitively a demon does that make sense player for the sub fr dash for the three next Monday for sub not you can i'm not i'm not even reading that philosopher for the sub j roberts for the sub vanga for the three did you watch the monster inside documentary on hulu nope co uh coca uh october archie and nine seven eight for the sub Honestly, was I disrespectful, chat? Like, you could say, yeah. Like, I, I'm i sorry if I was disrespectful. I don't, I'm not dissing Christianity. I'm saying that is just a bad, it, 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 it's illogical to me to assume that if it says no, it is 100% of the time always a demon. It's, that doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't definitively mean that it's a demon. It's my own opinion. You could say, oh, you're wrong. That means it's a demon. But I'm using my own logic to... Just in any standpoint, right? It, it's it's it, it's the same thing as stereotyping somebody, right? To say that a demon says no, or to to say that if a ghost says no to the question, is there heaven? That means it's a demon. Is the same thing as saying if somebody is of this race, they are always doing this, right? It's the it's it's a stereotype of a specific event, right? It's applying one logical point to the entire group. If they say no, they're a demon. But there could be ghosts that say no that aren't a demon, but you'll never know if they're not a demon because you're believing that if they say no, they're a demon. It's That doesn't make sense. It's like, we don't think this is some like spirit or something, something paranormal there. We think it was something. Once again, I, I, I honestly, dude, I respect everybody's beliefs. Like, I, I know I'm egging this on and I'm fucking, I, I, I'm talking about this too much, but I don't want to diss anybody's belief. Like, I, I firmly believe that what you believe spiritually and, and faithfully is 100% as valid as what I believe, okay? I don't want to diss what you believe. I'm, I, I did not mean to come off uh, wrongly, but I'm just saying, like, that's, in my opinion, I, I feel like it's an illogical thing to always apply that standard. Player for the sub. I was trying to lead you away from heaven yeah, or Christianity. Demonic territory type thing. No, that, that it has a difference. And then, you know, if you want to go further and talk about the ghosts that show up, there's <gasps> definitely ghosts too. Did I ever show you the picture of my ghost? 
You have a picture of a ghost? Didn't I show you that? I don't, Did I ever show you that, Jamie? I don't think so. No? You have a ghost? I have a ghost. Where? Your house? I apologize if I'm repeating myself. But- some, some just think you're being disrespectful because they don't agree with you. You're being disrespectful. Which is it? I. <laughs> Which is it? One or the other. One or the other, man. You disagreed with me. You just said it was disrespectful and then not disrespectful in the same part. In the same 20 seconds. He said respectful. Oh, what do you mean he said respectful? Wait, I got to go back to the chat. Fuck, what was the chatter's name? Oh, you're being very respectful. Oh, I read disrespectful. I'm a dumbass. That's my fault. Uh, That's my fault. Yeah, little L. Joe Bart there. Fuck. I can't read. No, but honestly, one more time. I'm sorry if I I disrespect anybody. I'm not dissing Christianity. I think it's as valid as any other faith. Okay. Uh, But I'm just saying that point there that, okay, it said no. That means it's a demon. We have to leave. I would still keep talking. Even if it was a demon, in all honesty, I would keep talking to it. Because it would give me some insight, even if it was a lie. But that's my take. See, that's entirely my take. I'm not saying that's something that other people have to believe. Like, basically disprove that there is a heaven in mm-hmm. order, you know. And so what they were saying is, like, we don't think this is some, like, spirit or something, something paranormal there. We think it was something that was trying to lead you away from heaven yeah, or Christianity. Demonic territory type thing. But no. I was asking it questions leading you, like, I like they, they weren't doing, it wasn't making them do something bad. But that, that it has a difference. And then, you know, if you want to go further and talk about. I would just stop before you get canceled. Dude, people have gotten mad at me for saying what I believe a million fucking times over. I don't think that me saying what I think about a specific ghost is cancelable. If you think that is, that's fine. But I, I, dude. I honestly, like, I, I feel like you saying that means you've never been in my philosophy streams, right? Which is fine. I'm not, not that many people show up to them. But, like, honestly, when I do philosophy streams, we all talk about each other's beliefs. Some disagree with others. That's how it is, man. I'm not dissing it. I'm just saying what I think, right? Which, yes, a, disagrees with 65% of the uh, American population. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to sit here and not say what I think. About the ghosts that show up? <gasps> so there's definitely ghosts, too. Did I ever show you the picture? I'm of not me? dissing it. I'm just saying, like, what I think. Tory type thing. Moving on! Lock it! No, that, that it has a difference. It, and then, you know, if you want to go further and talk about the ghosts that show up, <gasps> so there's definitely ghosts, too. Did I ever show you the picture of my ghost? You have a picture of a ghost? Uh, Didn't I show you that? I don't, Did I ever show you that, Jamie? I don't think no? so. No? You have a ghost? I have a ghost. Where? Your house? I apologize if I'm repeating myself. But... I don't know if you are. I don't remember the All story. Right. But I, I'm... Why I... would you not move houses? If you were convinced, chat, that a ghost lived in your house, would you stay in that house? Fuck no. I, I, would, I don't care if I immediately bought the house, right? If it, within a week of living there. I hear, I, I see a fucking ghost. I'm moving. I'm going to a different house. I got one of those Nest cameras. Unless it was a cool ghost. What if it was like Casper? You know what I mean? Like a chill, like a chill, friendly type of type of dude, you know? Just like he's vibing, you know? He just kind of, you watch his movies with me. Cameras. Oh, the Nest cameras captured a ghost? Those, yeah, and I was... In that scenario, I'd be like, okay, don't come in my room, though. That's weird. <laughs> that's, I would I would set boundaries. You know, if it was a chill ghost, I'd be like, you get the first floor. You get this room, right? Don't come upstairs. <laughs> Please. I don't care if you're nice. If I wake up and you're you're standing over me, I'll cry. It was at the Comedy Works in Denver. Mm, and the ghost comes I, with you to I Denver? Got... <laughs> he opens for me. <laughs> you know, you want to know. I'm not saying I'd smoke with him. How the fuck are you going to smoke with, with something that has no matter? that you can trust yeah and i got an alert on my email the first time like if you if it senses movement mm-hmm. it alerts you and i open it up and there's my dog bella just in the thing i'm like this is so cool i'm just like i'm in i'm in denver and i'm looking at my office and i thought wouldn't that be a cool beginning of a horror movie if you get an alert on your phone 
and back at home there's a guy just staring in the camera of like, Ooh, like a, right Christ. that's a good premise for a movie so then i as i'm saying that to my opening act who's, who wasn't a ghost i get another alert and then this comes up oh yeah you can see it up there okay do you, why do you have a picture of chris d'elia on your wall <laughs> is it holding a gun He's, uh, he's obsessed with Chris D'Elia. We just found out. Look at that, bro. That's D'Elia. Chris, keep away from Tom. Something you might not know. I love D'Elia, but that's George Carlin. That's a man with a wrench. Yeah, or... Nah, that looks like a fucking hunting rifle. A man in a trench coat with an Uzi. Mm. This is 10 o'clock at night. The only people home are my wife and my daughter. This is on the second floor. There is no shadow coming in the thing. It's a ghost. That's well, a legit ghost. You don't ghost. think that's a person? That's not the a person. Fuck, do you think that's disprovable in any way? Oh my god, cuz that like that's not yeah, that's not a shadow. That's just straight up a figurine of a man wearing a a, a, a fucking suit. For sure. It looks like a shadow. Well, it looks like a shadow because it's a ghost. Is his point. It's not going to be definitively there. It looks edited. I don't think this random guy would edit this. My wife is the only one in the house. With, I don't think this guy would randomly edit a ghost in my house for 30 Facebook likes. <laughs> for 30, for 30 Facebook likes and 18 comments. I don't think he would be uh, trying to prove that a ghost lives in his house. Hmm. And you think oh that's? Oh my a God! This somebody said the wife is cheating on him. Yo, that'd be a crazy ass thing. This man believes there's a ghost in the house because the wife is just covering up a fucking a fucking affair. Oh no, that I think there's a ghost that lives here, and now she just always says that. Oh, there's the ghost again. It's always here when you're not. It's always here on Friday night when you're out with the, where you, when you're out with your buddies drinking, and I'm home alone, alone. Gun in his hand. Could be a clipboard. Maybe he's just a really annoying surveyor from the dead. <laughs> he's, uh, he's looking just at like the, a few moments uh, of your time to yeah. fill out this report. Did mm -hmm. you have video of it? Was it moving or something? No, but I have a video of another thing in the same office, which this I could is, show you. This is weird. Yeah. Yeah, see, it does seem, it seems like, you know, the light is behind him, right? Like, yeah. Like the outside right edge of it is sort of highlighted, like there's a light behind him. Mm-hmm. Doesn't look like a gun, though. It is weird. So, have you ever had an experience that you could say you think is probably a ghost that caused that? Everybody in the house has had a little something. Is your house old? It's not old. How old? But is like it? Poltergeist. Right, it's old. Bro, old. I feel like violated though. If the ghost saw me naked, you know what I mean, dude. Like, you know, there's a ghost in your house. That's like weird, bro. Like you're taking a shower and the lights start flickering, and I'd be like, bro, he's watching me. We're an Indian burial ground. That's why I hate when, like, dude, it always freaks me out when people say, like, the dead are watching over you. You know what I mean? Because, like, they're like, oh, your, your great-grandmother is watching over you. I'm like, I don't want her to be watching over me at all times. Like, is she, is she always watching me when I'm, like, in the, in the shower taking a dump? Like, you never know. Dun, dun, dun. You never know. So in Zach Bangin's museum, one of the most haunted, if not the most haunted object in the whole museum. I get self-conscious because God sees me shower. I don't think if God created you, I don't think you should be self-conscious that God would see you taking a shower. I don't know if you saw it. Probably if did. he sees everything, he's seen, he's seen other things that are drastically either more embarrassing or worse. The devil's rocking chair. Yes, there it is. So we he actually were able to He gave to us sit. permission. We were the first people besides him and his team to sit in this chair. Yeah, so basically that was that was the only exhibit that he's- They're going to leave when they hear three knocks for no to if heaven exists, but then they're going to sit in the devil's chair. ever had to close Look at those girls. down. They're <laughs> terrified. I don't know. <laughs> like, what if he just, um, he's the first person to be sitting in this chair? What if he immediately got possessed? Look at their faces. Look at the, ah! <laughs> Look at their so, faces. So that scared. looks so real. 
They're like, why did you bring us here? <laughs> Were they with so you guys? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. If I was Sam and Colby, I'd be so afraid that a ghost would, like, follow you. Because they go to these haunted houses all the time. These haunted places, abandoned places. And they interact with supposed ghosts. I'd be worried those ghosts would attach to something that I have. Or I'd accidentally bring something home. The, like, he had shut down a, that museum because, or that exhibit specifically because a lot of people were, like, complaining about, you know, getting nauseous or throwing up or something like that. That's apparently the only uh, artifact that he had to close off in that museum. Uh, but for some reason, he was, like, super nice to us and was like, guys, besides me, no one's sat in there since the exorcism that had occurred on that chair. So if you guys want to... Oh my god, crazy conspiracy theory. That guy is possessed by the demon, and he wants other people to sit in the chair. You guys can sit in it for the first time ever. Mm -hmm. oh. And that was one of those times, like, we're down to push the limit and stuff like that. But that was one of those times that I actually, like, gather myself and be like, we can do it. Like, let's yeah. figure this out. Let's, like, not actually, yes. like, overthink about it. I'm not overthinking shit. Yo, you bring me to a museum and you say, this chair's possessed. I'm like, I'm not, yo, yo, I'll lick the chair, like. So what is, are you, what are you talking to? Like when you're saying you've gone too far, like. Oh, God, see, that's another out of pocket thing. See, now I'm being more self-conscious about it. You've, you have headphones on and you have your blindfold on. Yeah. Estes so what's method. going on? So this is one of like our favorite experiments. It's called the Estes method. It relies on the theory that if you take away certain senses, other ones are enhanced. Um, and so there's this thing called a spirit box that like shuffles through different radio fr frequencies. And what I'm doing is I'm like focusing on like whatever it says. And I can't hear the questions. Yo, why is he shaking? That colby and what other are you people. you're hearing something in your ears yeah he, well i'm hearing radio static basically it's going Hello. really like, really every once in a while we'll break into a radio station where it'll be like a song or something that like will be something saying saying or like just a word will pop out but mostly you just hear static and these mm. are like uh noise canceling headphones and i can't see what they're saying so it's basically you have, like, you're blindfolded you have this thing on it's static and occasionally sounds come through that are words. Correct. Mm -hmm. And so you're just repeating those words? Well, so I'm out, I'm like watching him and I'm asking questions out and whatever's there is supposed to use the Estes method or like use Sam basically as the vessel to mm. The conduit out. of So these. for example, I'd be like, like, are you here right now? And then he'd be like, yes, over there or something like that. And so you're but in this no haunted rocking chair yeah. and you're using this method with- Yo, but now that's got me freaking out that like, yo, if you die and they bury you, what if your like soul is trapped in the coffin for fucking eternity? I'm gonna get cremated. Ah, uh, but then what if they burn you? Fuck. Nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna get cremated. They gonna, they gonna fucking spread my ashes. Some random shit. Mindfold on and the earplugs. Yeah, and basically to sensory deprive myself so that no matter what, I couldn't be just... I'm fake. gonna die in a cholera pit. ...king an answer and hearing what he's... Read bits. Milan for the subsplitter for the three. It's stuff his wife with a pan or something, Yerdick for the five. I do hunt ghosts myself. I haven't, I haven't recorded anything because I don't think people would believe me, but the experiences I've had, it's hard to sway me. Uh, wish I could show others. So you think, you definitively believe that ghosts exist. X-Fire for the sub. It's Riley for the three. Uh, Joe is an uncan is uncancelable as Trisha Paytas. You're all good. Trisha Paytas is the one person that honestly could never be canceled. Uh, Trisha Paytas has done like 45 different fucking things. Uh, Rocker for the sub, Brandello for the three. Who are you rooting for in the Tommy Fury versus KSI, Logan Paul, uh, Dylan Dennis? I want Tommy Fury. Oh, God, who do y'all want to win in the fights? We didn't even talk about that. Who do y'all want to win in the fights? For Tommy versus KSI and Logan and Dylan. KSI and Dylan. Tommy. I want Logan to beat Dylan, and I want KSI to beat Tommy. No, I might want Tommy to beat KSI. Yeah, I want Tommy to beat KSI, and I want Logan to beat Dylan. 
I don't like Logan, but I hate Dylan. I don't hate Dylan, but he annoys the fuck out of me. When I see him on social media and shit, dude, and especially the shit I talked about yesterday where he was, like, talking shit about, like, Logan's girlfriend or fucking ex, I just thought that was cheap uh, as, like, a way to trash talk somebody. Who do you think's gonna win? Not who do you want to win. Who do you think's gonna win? Uh, FR dash for the three. I wasn't trying to be annoying with the subnautic thing. I only found you out you quit after I sent it. But the last question was, will when will the lids conspiracy be? Uh, I have no idea. The chicken and players for the sub. Uh, and Milan for the sub. KSI and Logan. I don't think KSI will win. In all honesty, uh, I think if Tommy, if if KS, if Tommy beat Jake, I think Tommy will crush KSI. Uh, just because Jake has more fighting experience now than KSI does. I, I would be, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be upset if KSI won, but KSI is not, KSI's betting odds are like fucking plus 300. Him winning is, he has like a 20% chance of winning. He said, and say right. somebody redeemed Dent. I don't know what the odds are for Dylan, Dennis, and Logan. Yo, should we do a little side segment? Look that up. Little side segment. Little side segment. <gasps> Logan, Paul, Dylan, odds. <gasps> oh, my God. Dylan Danis' odds are plus 400. So, Dylan Danis has a lesser chance of winning than KSI does against Tommy. Way in, no, face off, face off, KSI. Yeah, here we go. Right, he just, he just built so weird. I think that's just boxers in general. Like, they're so wide, and then they have small legs. But now, more of a... 181.3 pounds. Ah, uh, dude, KSI is built, but like, I honestly think Tommy's probably gonna knock him out. I really don't. I like, I know KSI's driven, but like, dude, Tommy's undefeated. Tommy's nine and zero. Oh. Show some love for Manchester's own Tommy Fury. And yeah, you could be like KSI's undefeated, but KSI's undefeated uh. against majorly influencer boxers. Is it this KSI's first actual fight? Am I wrong? I think this is Tommy's, I think this is KSI's first real fight. Who has KSI fought? KSI has only fought amateur bouts and Logan Paul. Like, that's not... That's not boding well for a KSI win. He fought phase temper. Phase temper, right? First word, phase. Gaming clan. Not, bo not a boxer. Right? So I don't know about that one. I think I think Tommy will I think Tommy will beat KSI and I think Logan will beat Dylan. I'm fine with either winning on the KSI match though. I really don't. I, well, KSI also hasn't fought in like fucking four years, so we'll see. I eight for the sub, uh, Lord for the five. Love the streams. Have you ever heard of the game Daisy? Would I ever play it? Maybe. If you have any games you want me to play or videos you want me to uh, react to, exclamation point Discord mods in the Discord link. Uh, send videos there and the games in there. Uh, videos to just have game session tab. Something random. So the theory is, yes, there will be other random words that happen because it's radio frequencies. However, but down to the co co uh, coincidence theory, if things make sense over and over and over again to the questions that he's asking, then that is said to be more paranormal. Mm, so what did it feel like for you to be sitting in that creepy chair? So during that, it was a whole different world. Um, but... What was really, really interesting is, like, like Colby said, after doing this a lot, like, it takes a lot for us to have a physical reaction. Uh, although, yes, I was definitely 
terrified because of all the the lore and the stories that were being told all up until this point. The guy telling us a hundred times, no one has ever done this before. <laughs> You're about to be the first. It's terrifying. But sitting down on that chair for the first time, I think ever, gave me a feeling of almost being paralyzed. I don't know if you've ever been uh, like hypnotized. Have you ever been hypnotized? Yeah, yeah. So the feeling of being in hypnosis was almost immediate as soon as I like sat down there. Not when I was in the doing that like experiment, but prior to that, um, where I couldn't necessarily feel my legs as much. And yes, like if you gave me- Yo, you know, I'd start bugging. I sit in a fucking possessed chair and I can't feel my limbs. You know, like uh, ultimatum, if you have to stand up right now or you're gonna die, I could stand up. But you know, like if you've been under hypnosis, it's oh, like- Well then you're not fucking paralyzed. Yo, turd burglar, you wanna shut the fuck up, man? Yo, turd burglar. Yo, turd burglar. You want to shut the fuck up, man? Thanks, bud. Thanks, bud. Turd burglar. You want to fucking shut up? Yo, one more time. Turd burglar. Turd burglar. You want to fucking... You have 179 messages. All of them are recap. You want to you wanna do me a favor and uh, shut the fuck up? Ban him. I just got here, my B. You... Just got here, my B. You've been here for an hour. More than that. You've been typing recap the entire street. Like this pressure that you probably shouldn't do this or that your, your mind is being swayed to do something else. And to me, that pressure was don't stand up. So you Be felt like you're under a spell. Yeah. And like the, the same thing with hypnosis. Like I've been hypnotized before and like I said, if everything in my being wanted to stand up, yeah, I can stand up or I can not listen to like what's happening. However, if you allow yourself to like feel that, the feeling was paralyzing. And like I, I like run a lot, so I always uh like use this as an example. It felt as though within seconds of sitting down on that chair, I had run five, ten miles. Like it felt like I was sore and like my legs were like really, you know, like that. Bro, uh, I want to sit in this chair so fucking bad now. Like I'm about to go pay to do this shit. Uh, like almost like sluggish feeling to like your, your, your muscles after like a big workout. That's what I felt almost immediately. It's, it's theater ghosts are, the, are some of my favorite. In theaters? When you go, right? When you go perform in these theaters oh. and you talk to the people, I always ask, do you have a ghost? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There was a little boy I was in, where was I? Oshkosh. Oshkosh. And there was an old theater, and the guy who runs the theater said, you know, we've had this legendary, they keep talking about, there's like three ghosts in the thing. And they're having a cocktail party upstairs in this like cocktail lounge off the balcony. And his son, this guy's son, ran into the balcony. And he's talking with people, and he goes, I gotta go get him. And he goes in there, and the kid's leaning over the balcony, talking to the stage, having a conversation with someone. He's like, yeah, no, no, that, oh, this is my dad. What, he wants us to go down there. He's, who wants us to go? That guy, he wants us to go down there. There was no one down there. The thought about that with little kids is that little kids have not dulled all of their senses with the pressures of the world mm -hmm. and all the other information that we carry around in our heads and all of our- Yo, if I had a child and they started talking to nothing, they're either A, they have an imaginary friend, B, they're insane, or C, it's a ghost. But if I was at a fucking theater and your kid who hasn't ever done that before is like, oh, this guy wants us to come down there and points at nothing, I'm out of that bitch immediately are ideas of what's real and what's not real and that little kids are open yeah. more and then they can see things well um flea from the red hot chili peppers was talking about that with his son that his son is like uh, i think it was flea yeah but his son is like tuned in to spirits in a way and uh -huh. then that he was looking at it was like maybe it's that these kids are not like maybe we all have that in us but it's blunted right by pressures and life and the lack of sleep and responsibilities and relationships and yeah. work and, and fear yeah like, and everything and right it's just and and also like we define how the world is right we we get it in our head that this these are the Yo, that would also freak me the fuck out if your kid i mean would that make you feel more safe or more scared if your kid wasn't worried if you had a child and they were talking to a ghost 
and they were just chill about it. I don't know if that would make me more freaked out or or more comfortable with it. I feel like probably more safe, actually. Because I initially more scared because I'd be confused. And then I'd be like, oh, well, he's not worried. But it would also depend on what the kid was saying. If the kid was like, he wants us to go into the basement, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> uh, no. Parameters for the world. Yeah. This is how the world works. And that's it. And go to work and fucking... Button up your fucking sleeves. And, <laughs> right, this is my you know, beliefs. Yes, yeah. My belief system is going to carry me through. Yeah. I mean, yeah. This is what it is. It's a fact. Right. It is. There are things, there's so many things that we've seen that are like, okay, that makes me want to inch a little closer or try right. it again mm. or do it again. You know, there's that like, you know, spark of like, oh, I cannot explain how that happened. What's the mm -hmm. most profound one that you guys have experienced? I mean, Besides there's... Queen Mary? Yeah. There's both like in, in like individual experiences that have been insane like for me for example i went in texas actually there was a spot um called bowers mansion i don't know what city it was in you it was a small small, small town. town in texas and uh this was one of these spots where nobody has ever investigated um or it was just like a handful of people so we were going to be like the first youtubers to really investigate and like put it on the map um and it had to deal with like i think it was like a murder suicide some guy like killed his wife and then shot himself um and we're trying to like especially this. why is it always a gruesome death why can't it be like oh yeah this guy just died of natural causes he got he ate too many cheeseburgers and had a heart attack like what the fuck why is it always I, he shot all three of his children and then fucking hung himself like uh, is, is it because it's like some sort of evil they're gonna say oh because their soul is still trapped here because they haven't moved on. This year and in the future, try to just put ourselves in more uh, scary situations so it never, you know, it's always like exciting and stuff like that. And so we, we're trying to do because it Because there's no negativity. There's no negativity. Uh, there, there's no negativity to eating too many cheeseburgers that you just fucking die. Literally just having a heart attack from eating so much. Alone challenges and stuff and just oh. things that like give us more fear and so for this specific one i had the challenge of like staying in the entire like mansion by myself um and i was on the top floor in like a room which was deemed to be like the most haunted um apparently a guy named like bernard had lived there like in the past and uh basically was like stuck in a wheelchair his entire life and stayed in that room and would like only look out the window and that's it and he died and but if you're alone in a dark room, in a place that you've been told is haunted, is it a big shocker if you start seeing things? Like if I, chat, if you got dropped in the middle of the woods, right now in the middle of the fucking night, right, pitch black, not even, not even fucking being told there's ghosts, there's like a good chance you might just start thinking you're seeing things apparently still in the room and so i'm up there and sam is not even in the house i think you're actually in the cellar and then one of our other buddies is like across the street and um earlier before we all did like the alone investigation the door as we were walking down the stairs of the bernard room closed shut and we were all like wait did you guys hear that too was that just my imagination we run up there it's completely shut and so we obviously propped it back open but since i knew that had happened before I was just up there like asking questions to Bernard and I was just like, all right, Bernard, if you're really up here, why don't you slam this door right behind me like you did for us earlier? It's just me and you do it. And um, sure enough, like the door slammed right behind me. It's like right when I turned. Well, I'm so taking that as he doesn't want me in there. The door slams shut so I can't get in the room. I'm going to fucking go in that room now. <laughs> no. I'm going to go piss him off. You're alone in I'm this alone. mansion. Yeah. And you're talking to ghosts. Yeah. And you're asking the ghost to slam the door. And he Literally. slams the door. And he slams it right and behind you, me. And you're sitting there going, what the it, fuck? Not sitting instantly, there. <laughs> it, instantly. <laughs> not sitting there. <laughs> like, I went into tears. Like, and it's all on camera. Like, um, All on camera? Where? Where is this fucking video? Where is this fucking video? I've never, like, gotten, like, super emotional, like, from going to these, like, haunted places. But... It brought me to tears. I'm Googling it. Oh, 
dude, it's a fucking hour long video. We're never gonna find the fucking moment. Uh, we're never gonna find the fucking moment, dude. Where is he alone? That might have been it. Kidding me? That's probably one of the best evidences ever. This like could literally go down in his. But this door closing in front of everyone's eyes. No way I found that shit that fast, chat. I'm a fucking goat. I am a fucking goat. I was about to just give up and I fucking peeped that shit immediately. All right, yeah, that's weird. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's weird. Fuck! Fuck! Are there any strings? That is one of the first things we caught oh on camera. My. Bro. I believe. I believe. The fuck stay in there, man. God. All right. I mean, the uh, with the con oh, farm. Dan Aykroyd, Crystal had vodka. Crystal had vodka. From house, and uh, I've got Is a book haunted? for you. Well, let's say, let me say that it's there's residual energy from the people who've lived there in the past. So ah. you hear footsteps and voices. That's and the wrong clip. Creaks and doors closing and that, and many people have had experiences in it. So there's a Michael, reason why on. people don't want to live in a house. Go to 31 minutes. Uh, I just exited out of the video though. Camera. 31 minutes. Huh. Bernard, I just want... To, Bernard, I just want to say that I'm sorry about the life that you lived. You didn't... <gasps> Holy f <laughs> Yo, I'd fucking bolt. I would bolt the fuck out of that goddamn house. So fucking fast. Oh, you have no idea. Dude, that thing fucking slammed. It is weird that he turned away from it, though. Fuck, dude. Bernard, I just want to say that I'm sorry about the life that you lived. You didn't... <gasps> Holy fuck! Oh my god! Yo, open that door back up. <gasps> Holy shit! Oh my god, I'm fucking... Holy shit! I'm getting out of here. Oh my god! I have never been that jump scared in my fucking life, guys. I... Okay, now, he actually does look terrified. Yo, I wouldn't say anything. I just run. I just run. I wouldn't be able to talk. People were murdered. No one was killed in that farmhouse, but, right, but many people passed there. But and, even that, mm -hmm. weird, that weirds people out. But absolutely, if you have a house where people were murdered, and this is why there's laws, you have to dis divulge. I did. I had to divulge. Did you? Uh, it wasn't because of a murder, but when I sold uh, our house in Los Angeles, uh, we lived in Mama Cass's old estate on Woodrow Wilson Drive, and no we sold it to Beverly. Are you required to tell people that the house is haunted, or you believe that a house is haunted? Probably not, but if somebody's died in the house, that's probably required. If somebody's died, I don't think, y'all are saying yes. I don't think that's a yes. I think if, if somebody's died in a house, you're probably required to say that. Not if you think that it's haunted, but if, if somebody, like, hung themselves in the house, they're probably, like, they have to tell you that, I would assume. If they don't, that's nuts. Because I she wouldn't want to live somebody somewhere where somebody, like, hung themselves. He's been on the Celebrity Ghost Show talking about the spirits that were in that house. What happens? Uh, you know, jewelry will hop around on the table, shapes will be seen, you'll mm -hmm. feel a touch in the shoulder, that kind of thing. The mm -hmm. staff felt it. Um, and uh, I had an experience one night where something got into bed with me. Uh, I was alone. <gasps> and, uh, something got into bed with me. Uh, me and the ghost got a little bit freaky. Let's just say that. Bottle of crystal head vodka by our by ourselves. <gasps> what went on there? I uh, got that crystal head vodka. Got, got the crystal head vodka hat, too. But I, I just figured out. Oh, uh, well, in my Is he saying he fucked a ghost? What the fuck? <laughs> you fucked a ghost? I think I was being come on to there, but anyway, so, uh, that next, bro was just air humping. Uh, this is a YouTube house. clip. Right that house, now. Dan uh, Aykroyd fucked a ghost. Well, or it did try to come on to me, and I didn't refuse its. Uh, uh, so you, know, you resisted? Wanton. You know what? I just nuggled up next to it and went to sleep. You spooned I felt, with it. 
I did. I felt a shape. I looked and saw the depression. In the ma- I, I saw the depression in the mattress, and I felt a shape. Something next to me, like felt a form next to me, and I. I Were I you nug- hammered? Nug- I'm I nuggled- not no. cut. Yo, I would have to be so gone for me to fucking cuddle with a ghost. Oh no, not that night. I was working. What? Working on a picture and went to bed early. But so I was a- if he has a wife, does that count as cheating? Does that count as cheating if he if he cuddles with a dead a dead fucking ghost? Yeah, I would say yes. I would say that surely. I would say that surely counts as cheating. But you're alone laying. Now. You're laying alone. In- I don't think it would be taken in the same gravity, right? Bet. Mm-hmm. And you're working on a film. What I'm film lying was there. It? What film was it? Uh, it was something that I've been working down at Universal. Um, I don't know, maybe Dragnet or something like oh, that. Oh no. TBH, I'm so touch deprived. I'd do anything with a ghost, sober or not. Aw. Uh, okay. So you're working on Dragnet, mm-hmm, you're no lying way. in bed, and then there's like a weight next to you. I feel a weight next to me. I turn and I look. Like a the, person is laying I in bed. I saw the depression. There were two, yes, and, I, and, and I, there were two spirits that might have been there. Maybe Mama Cass herself, although she died in London. And then there was another guy that apparently. A rumor was he died uh, of a drug overdose at a party, and they buried him in the hillside. Oh. And my daughter saw him walking with a little red-haired girl down the hall once. And and uh, and what? You know, we think that, that that he might have been there. But anyway, when we sold the house to Beverly, uh, there was a uh, right in the California real estate uh, document that we had to sign. By law, you have to divulge any unusual activity in the house. Really. If you buy a house, you're legally required to say if it's haunted. Wow. So it's, it would be in the contract, oh, we see things at night. That's nuts. House. So I had to sign a, 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 a clause in there that said, yes, at the beginning of our tenure in the house, we did have experience. Yeah. Mm. yeah so <laughs> in, in the contract, previous owners fucked the ghost. Previous owners got freaky in bed, to be noted. So you you have a real belief in ghosts. It's kind real, kind of, kind yeah. of, like not a hundred percent, but but you you have an open I mind. I bump into them sometimes. For I real, think. and I don't see them, but I feel them and hear them, and the, like I know. Go ahead, look the little the little. <laughs> yeah, that annoys me. I th- I don't believe that. I'm already I'm already. Nah. Uh, I just think I have better connection with spirits. Really? Oh, I just like I bump into him sometimes. Now you just bumped into some dude. It was a person. It wasn't a. It, 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 it wasn't a fucking ghost. Smile. <laughs> that little. I believe that some people have better connections to ghosts. Dude, I might believe in ghosts. I I wouldn't say that I would believe that some people have a better connection. There's nothing physically or biologically that would make that occur. You could say that ghosts exist but the idea that a human would be better at talking to them just doesn't make sense little <sighs> smile that's why i don't uh, we're talking about it because we're on the weirdness podcast but like <laughs> i don't talk about it because it just doesn't get a good response well i'm trying to be open-minded <laughs> so when you bu- i believe you you don't seem like a liar by any no the of fuck you. he doesn't no the fuck no the fuck he doesn't that's some shit you say you have like an appalling reaction and they're just like okay i don't want to talk about it and you're like no no i was just I had a sneeze. I know I believe you. You know, keep telling me more. Imagination. But But I have a huge imagination. I'm so sure you do. I could you're, very, you're a very easily creative be person. Tricking myself into something. What do you feel? Like what happens? Um, I just bump into them. Like they just if you walk into a room, I mean it happens maybe once a year. Yeah. And you walk into a room or you walk somewhere or something's going on and you just feel it. And it's very, very strong. And So fucking vague. So fucking vague, dude. I bump into a ghost. Uh, You just feel it like once a year. What? What do you mean? Maybe give a better explanation? I just, I talk to them. I just say like, mostly hotel rooms, let's just say. If I'm in a hotel room on tour and I'll either move if I don't like it or I'll just say alone in that room i'll be like hi 
I'm playing a <laughs> show at like so and so. I'm only here for two days, but I really need to get some sleep. Um, you can come to the. Sh I tell them they can come to the show if they want. Oh, that's hilarious! I'm like, this is what I do for a living, and I try to like hear and think what they do for a living. I would be psyched if I was a ghost and I found you. I'm like, this chick's cool. She can invite <laughs> us to a show. I don't even want to scare her. Let her sleep, man. Let her sleep. <laughs> Fuck that. I got the pots and pans ready. <laughs> right. I'm ready to make a racket. Let's wake this chick up. <laughs> nah, man. Let her sleep. She's cool. Let's go to the show. You want I to put them on my guest list. That's <laughs> like, nice. You've got a plus one. That's nice. You don't have to reserve a seat for it. <laughs> yeah. I've been here at night. Z, Z, Z. I yo, I'm I'm not watching the rest of that segment. I'm not. Oh, I invite you to the show. Oh, I want the ghost to show up. Okay. Post Malone. Here's an argument. Post Malone. Post Malone's haunted. Yeah. I've been here at night. Z, Z, Z. Here's an argument for something being haunted. The okay. comedy, the comedy store in Hollywood. Because it used to be Ciro's nightclub. It used to be owned by Bugsy Siegel. And apparently, the word is they killed a bunch of fucking people there. Right. And almost everyone that I know that works there, everyone who's managed it, works there a long time, they have some weird shit happen to them. Weird shit. Like, they, they see someone... My dad, you guys want to hear a story that my, my dad tells me? My dad believes he saw a ghost. My dad used to work in a restaurant business uh that had been open for a long time used to be an old building i think somewhere in las vegas uh when my dad was probably four years older than i am now so he's probably like 25 26 right uh and he used to be one of like the line cooks and managers at other restaurants right and he told me that at this one restaurant, it, uh, it was so common that this woman would, that died in that area would haunt everybody. The workers would fuck with the ghost that lived there. Uh, and one day, th this, one, this one worker got so drunk after work, he started cursing her out and calling her a whore. And then out of nowhere, a fucking full table slid across the room and pinned him to the wall. And my dad says he saw this. And I I mean, I believe him. Like, why would he lie about that, right? I, I don't know if there's, like, something explainable, but that it was weird, right? And then another story that he had was he worked at that restaurant until he had me, right? And he said when he was carrying uh, me one day, uh that or my sibling i don't i don't remember i think it was one of us um he would he would bring them to work right or one of us to work and he was walking up the stairs and our head you know a baby like a, a, a baby's head would normally just like rest on the dad or, or wherever right but it just went like this and as they moved it like tracked like something that wasn't there and he didn't see it, but apparently, like, one of us did. I mean, I don't remember if it was me because I was one, but he says that. But, I mean, he's so down, found set on the, on him seeing a ghost. Uh, Josh Pika and Carbon for the sub. Etho for the three. Are burritos or bowls better? Burritos. Dad for the sub. Static for the three. Uh, somebody in chat keeps saying, I farted on Joe. It's annoying. He, I don't care if I'm a snitch. He's spamming. Well, if I see it, we'll ban him. Meta and Meat for the sub. Lord Nicey for the sub. Lord for the five. Love the streams. Already read that. Can we have a baby picture of you? That's weird. Is your dad Gordon Ramsay? No, my dad is not Gordon Ramsay. In the kitchen, and they go to say something to him, they turn around, and then they turn back again, the person's gone. Right. Like weird shit. Right. Like old friends you haven't seen in forever wandering through the hallway, and they go up the stairs, and then you can't find them. There's like a bunch right. of stories like that. Now, granted, there's a lot of people who have done a lot of drugs at the comedy store. Right. That has to be factored in. Right. But there's so many stories worldwide of ghosts. I don't think it's impossible to... I think it's possible that things leave a memory. Right. right. Like, maybe if you hate someone so much, like you you leave a memory on the space. Like That's a stone tape yeah. theory. Yeah. The what? Stone tape? Yeah. Stone tape? Yeah. 
What is that, it? That the energy of a life is like left on material shit like right. the bricks on the wall. Yeah. Or the curtain here. Right. You know. And that's like I don't know if that's a stone tape theory. Don't quote me on Don't quote me on I that. One. Can you look of... up the Can you look up the stone tape theory for me? Stone Stone tape. That sounds like stoned ape. Stone tape theory. The stone tape theory is the speculation that ghosts are ghosts and hauntings are analogous to tape recordings and that mental impressions during emotional or traumatic events can be protracted in the form of energy, energy recorded onto rocks and other items and replayed under certain circumstances in the future after somebody has passed. On tape. But it's, well, because I'm, I'm friends with Zach Baggins from Ghost Adventures, right? Oh. And it's like... Did he ever take you to a haunted house? We, d we did a whole episode. You should check did it you out. Did get scared? It's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrifying, man. Uh, and in his right, he music, he sounds trashed. He sounds trashed, like honest, like honestly, trashed or high or some some shit. Like yeah, like he he always does. Yeah. Museum. So apparently, there's a thing called the Dybbuk box, which is a one of the most haunted items in the world, apparently. The Dybbuk box. And he wanted to, so we took the glass case off of the Dybbuk box, which is in his museum in Vegas. And he thought it was a sick ass idea to put the ashes of a lady who died while she was possessed on top. Whoa. And then I was, my plane almost crashed. I was in a car accident. My house got robbed, and I had bite marks on my arm. What? Imagine waking up with fucking bite marks. Oh, fuck no. And he hit the wall like, like I've never seen someone in fear so hard as whenever he touched it. And it's, it's, I don't know if it's someone who's dead or if it's a demon or if it's fucking something dimensional. Mm. But it's something there that goes bump in the night, I suppose. Stone tape theory, what is that? Here it is. Haunted rocks, the stone tape theory, the stone... Wow. Two for two, by if, the way, if ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations. <laughs> Nailed it. When you uh, think about, like, an alien sighting, like, if you saw an alien and then you never saw one again for the rest of your life, right. you would be, you would, it would fuck with your memory, even if the alien was real. If, if a, a saucer right. emerged in front of you. Yeah, one experience. Dude, I'd think about that forever. Have any of y'all ever seen aliens or claim to have seen aliens? Probably the fuck not. But that shit would freak me out. Josh for the sub. All right, hold up. All right, now we're on to the actual fucking short films. That was a W video, though. Uh, I gotta go pee real quick, and then we'll, uh, we're on to the fucking short horror films. Count me down 30 seconds. Oh my god, bro. Ugh, my fucking floor mat. All messed up. All right. Josh for the sub.
was that song name? Ritma wait, Ritmata Aggressivi Aggressiva. Alright, hold up, I had a post on TikTok. Yo, chat, do y'all want to see Brooke's nails that she just got done? She wants me to show you guys. Brooke wants Brooke wants you guys to rate her nails. Before we get into the fucking short film, she got Halloween nails. All right. I had to send it to myself so I could pull it up. Little spooky season, little spooky season nails, little scream mask, little ghost, little smiley face, little jack o' lantern esque thing, little Jack Skellington. Uh, booty for the sub. Ugh. Hold up, I gotta crack my neck. All right, let's lock in. She said, "Let me know what they say." I'll say, I'll say they hated it. I'll say they said you got a bad idea. They liked it. I'll say that. All right. All right. First fucking scary video of the day. Clowning around. Oh, do we turn off one of our lights for this? Booty booty liquor for the sub. All right. Friday the 13th chat. It's time to lock in for the scary shit. Here we go. Clowning around. Short horror film. Locked. 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 We got a lot of these. We got a lot of these we got to get. We got a lot of these we got to get through. Boom, 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 boom. Most of them are pretty short. This one's decently long. Most of them are like three minutes. Lock it. I'm already scared. I haven't even pressed play. Well, I just pressed play. 40 is when the fun begins. Yeah, that's that could be more false. When Steve Sim Monday. Why is your light on? Oh my fucking god. I turned Cuz you can't even fuck you can barely fucking see me, right? You still want to be able to see what my reaction and when I talk. So I have to have one light on. Otherwise, otherwise, this is perfect. Chat, this is off chat. Chat. <laughs> you can't even see me. You can't, you can't even see me. Do this. This sucks. I'm not doing this. This is perfect. I'm not keeping it like this, chat. This is fucking bad. Like, you can't even... Bro. Bro, let me, I'll, I'll keep it on if y'all can tell me what letter I mouth. Right here. Ah, uh, you guys can see me easier here. Ready? What word am I saying? Banana? No. Oh, God, I'm fucking filming it the wrong way. All right. God, this is better, chat. It's not it's not too bright. It's not too bright. Lock in. That's too bright. Oh my god, chat. Are are you are you just trying to fuck with me or is this fine? This is what we've always done for scary shit. For scary games, for scary short films. Why the fuck are people bitching right now? Why are people bitching right now? It's not too bright. It's not too bright. Dim it. I can't. It's a fucking light. Actually, I might be able to dim it. But I don't want to fuck with the settings. What about this? Ah, oh, see, that just messes it up. No. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, my God. If you don't like it, shut the fuck up. I don't care. Stop chatting. Oh, please. Please. Let's just watch it. Uh, Milf's in your area for the three chat. Always dick rides Brooke. Not going to lie. Not to disrespect Brooke, though. Booty for the sub. All right. Turn off this one and turn on the other one.
Uh, the light, it's just, it just looks bad. This lighting just looks bad. This is better. I don't like this. I think this is worse, if anything. This is better? You guys like this lighting more. Really? Fuck. All right, we're going to do a poll. Which? The way it is right now or the other way? The other way that I had when this light was on and that one was off. God, y'all are being so picky today. Fuck. The way it is right now, no fucking way. Y'all are literally a group mentality. I feel like half of you guys literally don't like it this way, and you're just voting that because other people are saying that. <laughs> and you know that, too. Like, I, I, bro, like, you're just like, oh, yeah, no, this way's better, even though it's not. Even though it's not. That's not better. We are a hive mind. I actually like it. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. We'll use this for the scaries. All right. I'm not doing this any other day. Just for today. I'll listen to my chat because it's Friday the 13th. Lock in. I'll listen to your chat. Shut up now. Clowning around short horror film. Fuck. I'm, I'm restarting. Getting ready to go to a fucking funeral. My god, all black? Hey, I'm really serious? sorry, but I have to cancel. Oh my god, are you serious? Why, why are you having the text conversation on this side? Oh, motherfucker. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, motherfucker. I'm just gonna read out the text. I know, I know. Jenna called out again, and there's nobody left to cover for the front desk. So I gotta stay late. I'll make it up to you this weekend, okay? Happy birthday. Oh, it's her birthday? Brutal. Is she getting naked? Hold the fuck up. Hold the fuck up. So it's already in her house. Uh, dude, they're at, they have like a whole fucking two minute credit reel. Like this is a 30 minute fucking movie. When in reality, the, or not a 30 minute movie, like a fucking three hour movie. Dude, this is literally nine minutes long. The credits are still rolling. Wow. Lock in. You better. But since our plans are off tonight, I'm getting some champagne to enjoy myself. <laughs> Read the first text I already did. Is this presumably a jump cut, or did she just leave the house for literally five fucking seconds? Yo, drinking champagne alone, though, is sad as hell, no lie. Like, I mean, drinking alone is sad as hell, but drinking champagne alone? Champagne's a celebration drink. Alone? Ugh.
Can I help you? For me? <laughs> Who the fuck would take that? It's your birthday, you open the door, some clown is staring at you and tries to give you a gift. I'm shutting the door in his fucking face. And I'm calling the cops. What the fuck? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Good night. I'm not eating that loose cupcake. No birthday plans? Making you frown? How about hanging around with your brand new friend Snickers the Clown? He'll follow you round, up, down, all over the town. Wait for his chance to turn that frown upside down. No birthday plans. Me. Oh my god, and she fucking reads it. Can you frown? How about hanging around with your- I read it better. I read it better. Down? What? Bro, I'd immediately fucking grab a gun. Immediately fucking grab a weapon. What the fuck? Taking a picture of you? While she was undressing, dude! Buying the champagne? Oh, fuck no. How did she not see him? <laughs> She's literally seven feet away from a fucking six foot three clown taking a selfie. I think someone's stalking me. What is your name and address? I think someone's stalking me. What? 911, what's your emergency? Get the fuck over here right now! Here's my address! Get the fuck over here! Somebody's taking pictures of me right now! I need somebody to be here! A clown, give me a present! I am literally gonna be incoherent. I'm gonna be fucking yelling. Yelling. Someone, I think someone's stalking me. Maybe be a little bit more urgent. Sarah Graham, 2715 Henderson Road. Okay, Sarah, you think someone's stalking you? Yes. You're right. Uh, someone is stalking you. Sorry. Sarah, are you behind the front door? Yes. Oh, I'll answer that door all right, bitch. I'm about to shove a fucking axe right through that shit. Or I'm going to run out the back. I'm not going to answer it, so just stop. I said stop. Stop! Bro, he's going to be behind her. He's going to somehow get in the house. Stand your ground law. That We don't know what state she's in. Oh fuck, she's gonna be he's gonna be right behind her. Stop. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Oh, I'll chuck that bottle of champagne at her dumbass. Or not at her dumbass, at his dumbass. Bro, she is not nervous enough. Am I wrong in saying I think anybody in this scenario would be fucking, probably crying and and so adrenaline filled, like your your face would be fucking flushed. You'd be freaking out. 
You'd be so in fight or flight. You'd be ready to fucking kill somebody. God, she doesn't even peek the corner. So we're in copper. <laughs> so we're in copper. Just running right through the doorway. No fucking, no looks. No looks the other way either. What if he was right there? I could so outrun that motherfucker. Honestly, honestly, now that I would be outside, I wouldn't be nervous. <laughs> he ain't catching me. He ain't catching me. Right, he's like 50. That motherfucker, that motherfucker ain't beating me in a 40 with no damn clown shoes. At her window now. Bro, why would she go back in her house? I would just run on the street. Like, she just trapped herself in a fucking secluded space. What if he's honestly nice, though? What do you want from me? scared the fuck out of me. <sighs> Shit, bro. Leave me alone. Ooh, buddy got a mallet. That looks like a rubber valet. I think he's going to be whacking her a fucking few times to even make a dent. Minus one HP. Minus one HP. Minus one HP. selfie for be real it's about be real time better than my night i guess just flooded one of the suites upstairs guess who has to deal with that now fuck my life sure you don't want to bring that bottle over and help me clean up lol <laughs> drink a glass for me <laughs> you know what's annoying is people actually text like that What? So this just happened. What the fuck? I quit. Oh, she she just sent that to her friend. 
She's not dead, though. She was still alive. She just got, like, beat up. The black hole future shorts. This is an old video 14 years ago. Jesus Christ. How do y'all even find these? Also, if you have any videos you want me to watch to, uh, or games you want me to play, not even scary or related, uh, necessarily. Uh, exclamation point Discord, join the Discord. Send videos for me to react to games you want me to play in the video suggestion tab. Game suggestion tab. So I find a lot of the videos that I watch the games that I play. Lock in next video, the black hole. This is the worst video ever. Well, it's only two minutes, so we'll see. Oh my god, is this what graphics were like 14 years ago? 360p. Fuck. This is like the hole in the box, or not the hole in the box, the other side of the box. I would not put my hand in that thing. If it was a black hole, I'd put an object in it, like I'd hold a stick. That wouldn't make sense at all. Because it's if it held the cup, it would go into another part of the fucking... It would just be like a transportation. Like a film. But it has its own space. I swear to God, if this is a Snickers ad... Right idea. Is this even a horror film? What the fuck? How are you gonna carry that out? Wow. So now he's stuck in there. Next one. Momo. Short horror film. Not looking forward to this one. <laughs> Viewer discretion is advised. This video contains content intended for mature audiences only. This material may be unsuitable for inter individuals under the age of 18. If you are under 18 years old, we strongly recommend refraining from watching this video. Parental guidance is advised for younger viewers. Thank you for understanding and respecting the age restriction we have set for this content. <laughs> No, now I now I need to scan it. I doubt there'd be nudity though. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, mate. Uh, delivery for Maple More Tech. Yeah. Sign it. Wait, hang on. This doesn't look right. We're, we're an AV distributor. They don't stock Tolper, whatever that is. Okay. That. 
It's no longer my problem, mate. Well, what am I meant to do with this? Ask someone who cares. Sure. Yo, this is kind of realistic, too, in the sense that, like, you would still bring in this package. If somebody dropped off this package to you, would you open it? Oh, fuck yeah. If it had just a bunch of foreign letters on it, I would still... I, I wouldn't be like, oh, there's a demon in here. I would want to know what's inside. Did he not open the box? The curiosity would fucking kill me. The curiosity would fucking kill me. I'm opening that. I'm opening that the second I get it. I'm like, what the fuck would be in this? I wouldn't open it. Oh, I would. I don't give a fuck. If they told me it was my package... Hi, uh, did some customer order an animal or something? A, a delivery just came in and just call me back, please. Hello? Now, would somebody screaming inside of the box make me want to open it more or less? In a real-life scenario, you would open the box because you would think somebody's trapped in it. So you would fall for it. Less? Y'all are saying less, but if somebody... Chat, if you heard somebody yell inside of this box, you'd be like, oh, somebody's in here. I need to open this. And I'm putting the ropes right back over. <laughs> And the ropes are going right back over that bitch. Oh, fuck no. Howling like a wolf. All right, that's not a human. <laughs> My second thought is this might be an animal. This is probably an animal that I need to fucking deal with. Sorry, sorry, um, I'll, I'll get a drill. Just stay still. Bro, that was not a person. I'm not following them. I'm not following them. What the fuck? Oh, hell no, dude. Are you okay? Why are you walking like that? Stop. Are you hurt? Oh, he better give her a sandwich. Do you want something to eat? Bro, call the cops. You just got sent somebody in a box. Oh, my God. Yo, what if they're nice though? Nah, they're grubbing, dude. Oh my god, they just ate the metal. <laughs> 
bro, if, are you like, why is everybody in these horror films a fucking idiot? Like, yeah, you hand them the sandwich, they eat the sandwich, you don't need to see their face. You see them eat fucking aluminum. I'm out. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that's gonna piss her off. Stop, stop, oh my god. Yo, you know what's nuts, though, is Momo's face, when I started playing scary games on stream, Momo's face alone would make me shit myself. I'm, like, not, I'm kind of, like, desensitized to it. It's scary, but it's not, like, I used to be, like, I would want to turn away. Now it's just, like, that's fucking Momo. Because it's such a common thing. Like, it was popular for years. <laughs> Oh, I'm confident, though, I could beat the shit out of that thing. If that, it, like, it, eh, maybe not if it was paranormal stuck in a box. But I, I think I could give it a good whack with a crowbar. Maybe fucking disable it. But it also did eat metal, so... Somebody just said if you sexualize it, it becomes less scary. No. Bro, what the fuck are you doing? Lock the wit. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Lock the fucking door, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, fuck trying to fucking unlock the lock. Climb it. Climb the fence. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. I overreacted. All right. Hold on. I got to pee again. I know I just pissed. I chugged a fucking whole water, though. Give me a second, chat. Count me down 30 seconds. <laughs> We're back. Next one. Oh, brother. Skibbity Toilet 2, short horror film. <laughs> Hey Jacob. Hi. Vanessa. How's it uh how's it going? I'm alright. Okay. Say, have you heard from Lionel? I think he's in the bathroom. He's been in there for like an hour. Well do you want me to go check on him for you? You do that for me? Of course, I'd literally do anything for you. Thanks. Not he's a printer, Riz. Like a creepy psycho way, just more of like, you know. I appreciate it, Jacob.
What? You're just gonna be like, oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. Somebody with a camera has a fucking head. Bye now. Oh god, I can't wait to hear the song. It's gonna be so funny. Skibbity dub 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 yes yes. Lionel? It's just gonna unlock itself, dude. That's what's gonna happen. Ew. 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 Hello? Hey, uh, it's, it's me. Hi, Jacob. So, uh, I'm in the bathroom. I'm look, looking for Lionel, of, of course. Um, and he's not here. You know, it's a real drag. I wouldn't be surprised if I lost my job because of him. Well, is there anything I can do to help out? I can always, I don't know, bring you a coffee. Or I could always take you out for a coffee. Jacob, are you trying to ask me on a date? Yes, I, I am, but... Nah, and he's gonna die after he gets a date, dude. That sucks. <laughs> you don't have to if, if, you, if you don't want to. I'm flattered. I want to. Oh my god, no fucking way. It's skibbity toilet. Oh, no fucking way. Oh, that's so scary. Great. Maybe tomorrow at 12? Perfect. Forgive me. Dude, just leave the bathroom. Leave the bathroom. Lionel? Wait a second. You found Lionel? I'm on my way. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? What is this? Why is it playing music? Dude, this has no plot. This has utterly no plot. What the fuck is going on right now? Is he fighting the guy in the toilet? That was the dumbest fucking horror film I have ever seen. That made utterly no sense. Why was there a guy in a suit with a camera as a head? And what the fuck did that have to do with Skibbity Toilet? And now the camera guy is rizzing up the girl? The, what the fuck? The mine. I see for the three. He not getting busy, he getting rizzy, God, and goes for the sub blazing for the sub mill for the three. Hi. Weird. Is that you doing that? Hello? Sorry, I have a train to catch. 
Neat trick, by the way. Who would not be utterly astonished by that? A mime just fucking dialed a phone number. You've seen this. I have not seen this. This came out a year ago, but I've never seen this, dude. I've seen a different mime horror video because there's a few. Somebody rings up a phone and fucking says, oh, yeah, like, what the fuck? No. I'd be, I'd be fucking, uh, like, shocked. They got a public pay phone to fucking ring when they went beep, beep, beep. And you're just like, oh, cool trick, bye. Sorry, Brooks texting me. Hold up. Oh no, angry mime, so scary. Very funny. Somebody said totally fine and normal. I mean, in any normal scenario, New Yorker, anybody who interacted with this person would just tell them to fucking fuck off or they're going to beat the shit out of them. Like, if somebody, if some mime just started following me around and copying me, I would threaten them. Like, that's just creepy. There would be so many people outside. Well, it is the middle of the night, but she's waiting for a train. Move. Yeah, a, a normal reaction when my body's incapable of moving because I want to eat this apple and the mime's controlling me. Come on, move. Come on, move. I'm resisting that shit, dude. I'm using my fucking willpower in this scenario. Nah, she better make her jump in front of the train. <laughs> Wait, wouldn't it be stopping here? Like, wouldn't it be actively slowing down because she's waiting for the train? Plot flaw! Plot flaw! Eats the apple. Ooh, bothers me she ate the other side. You gotta eat the you don't eat you don't eat a chunk of an apple, then eat the other chunk of the fucking apple. You gotta eat it all the way around evenly. Waiting horror comedy film. That was the least scary of them all. Yo, we gotta rate these as we go. What was that? A fucking three. That was bad.
you know, don't hurt the Vancouver you snow have- globe. That's really fucking valuable. Got that from the good old gift shop. Fucking $25 right there, up price. Appointment. Claire Garvey. Your appointment's next Wednesday. No. No, it's today. I got the email confirmation. Yo, why is she so damn sweaty? This says next Wednesday. You've already rescheduled me twice. This must be a mistake. This is the BC healthcare system. We don't make mistakes. I'm near- I'm football spiking her fucking Vancouver snow globe. Right into the goddamn ground. During the end, and it'll be very bad if that happens. That's just a threat. Prescription refills can be made on the phone. The doctor- What are you living in the fucking 1900s, lady? You ever heard of fucking Walgreens or Rite Aid? You can actually refill prescriptions through text. It has two minutes on Saturday and 35 seconds on Monday. Do either of those work for you? 35 seconds on Monday. A little quick convo with the doctor. If I don't get... Yo, when I had strep throat, though, that's how long my fucking interaction was with the doctor. Literally sat down. He walks in. I'm like, I think I have strep throat. He goes, okay. Writes me a prescription and I leave. He didn't even check me. I could have fucking went in there and told him I had chlamydia and he would have fucking given me some shit, dude. I could have said I had anything. He would have believed me. My medication, Agatha. I will rip you open and play your intestines like a harp while you scream for mercy in the depths of hell. Unfazed. Fill this out. Waiting room's just around the corner. The doctor's running behind by a few hours. But they should have done this at a DMV. A few hours? Yeah, that's actually not that's actually not uncommon. At an urgent care, you could be waiting in line for like seven hours. Yo, she's still at a couple pills left. Why is she fucking tripping? She could have some of those. I don't think I could dry swallow a pill. You should go to emergency. Nah, don't tell me this man been waiting for like 10 hours. He's gonna have like a fucking knife in his head. They, they sent me here. Did he die? Why does she keep looking at him? Oh, does she eat people? <gasps> does she eat people, chat? She's gonna eat him. his head dude it looks like a ruler or like some sort of keychain glass that is not glass it's orange chat it's fucking orange look 
That is not glass. One last pill. He about to eat it. Why would anyone else, why would you ever eat somebody else's medicine? Without knowing what it is. That was my last. That was my last one. Now you're going to see why I've never taken a fight with anybody. And he fucking hawks out. She hawks out. I need to see a doctor. I need to see a doctor right now. This can't be a man. The end of what? Look at me. All right, Michael. Our doctor will see you now. Where's Michael? <laughs> she's not. She's not phased by this. Where's Michael? Also, why are you covered in blood? Why? I don't remember you being covered in blood the last time I saw you. Why are you why are you literally dripping? And why is there why is there a rib cage just fucking clean to the bone sitting on the floor? He got tired of waiting. Oh my god. A little snack for later. It's your turn then. No. It's yours. Why is why is this woman not scared at all about anything? She's just like, it's your turn. No, it's yours. Eyes go black. She just stares at her. Gives her like kind of like a look. Foxy and Kali for the sub. Unfazed. Entirely unfazed. Uncaring. That was a good video though. Next one. Chat, what y'all rating that? That one was like a fucking eight. That one was good. It wasn't scary, but it was entertaining. Elevator horror film. Welcome to 12. Yo, I hate people that chew gum like that. No fucking lie. Oh my God. Just chomping on that shit. I chew gum loud, but I'll keep my mouth closed. If you're just. Especially when you're in a class, in an exam, somebody's just fucking chomping. A building with a rich and misunderstood history that has stood the test of time since 1896. From the outside, it may seem like just another grand old building, but there's more to it than meets the eye. Oh, don't tell me she puts plus it under one. the fucking... Oh. On his face. Oh, is the elevator possessed? Twelve plus one has faced its fair share of troubles over the years, with rumors of strange happenings within its walls and a dark past that has yet to be fully uncovered. Hey! Mistake. Yo, being stuck in an elevator alone is enough for a fucking short horror film. You don't need possession or anything. If you just get stuck in an elevator, that's that's horrifying. It's not it, when when it's moving, it's fine. If you're just stuck between floors, you can't get out. You're just trapped in a hanging metal box that could theoretically fall at any moment. It wouldn't, but I'm stuck here. Can you hear me? Help? New Kane Pixels video, we already saw it. Oh. 
no one helps you, poor girl. Damaging properties is illegal and constitutes a violation of both civil and criminal law. That includes sticking your pink chewing gum in public places. Who are you? Welcome to building number 13. Just pick up your gum. Say, I'm sorry, I'll take the gum back. Piddle said deserved. You think her putting gum in an elevator deserves her dying? Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, you didn't need a you didn't need to chew it. Uh you didn't need to keep chewing it. You could have just fucking like held on to it. Or put it in your pocket. What the fuck? Why'd you put it back in your mouth? Being sorry for rude behavior is a sign of good social manner, but there are always consequences that one must face. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. To make up your mistake, write I'm sorry on the mirror in front of you with something very special. With what? You what? can easily find it above your head. It. They gotta cut our finger off. <laughs> Only your wrist? Yo, I'd be so worried that I would cut I would cut myself too much and then I would just bleed out. Damn, yo, I'd be like I'd be like, can I cut my like shoulder? Or some shit. Or my hand. I'd rather do that. Go like this. I'd probably if I had to write my name in blood on a wall, I would probably cut my shoulder. Is that a bad play? Like right here. Cause I feel like it hurt the least, and I'm not gonna bleed out. Thigh? That's a bad idea. Cutting your thigh, it doesn't that have like the biggest artery in your body? If I'm cutting it deep, I'd probably go shoulder, neck, your knees. Yeah, your thigh, you're bleeding the fuck out. Unless you minutely cut it. I'm probably going, I'm probably going shoulder. Somebody said TOS. It ain't TOS, bro. I love how my chat spams TOS when they haven't ever read TOS. They don't even know what TOS stands for, bro. Terms of service is gore if it's real. This is a fucking short horror film that is everything as fake. Are you kidding me? Denying your deserved punishment is not sorry, morally acceptable. We continue sorry. descending until you make the right decision. I'd ask to cut my shoulder. I say, can I not cut my wrist? I don't want to cut my wrist. Can I cut my shoulder? And the concentration. Or can I give myself a pretty cool scar? Can I give myself a cool, a cool scar to tell about this scenario for later? Of oxygen decreases significantly. This means that a person descending deep into the earth without proper equipment and protection would experience a lack of oxygen and would not be able to breathe. Additionally, the extreme temperatures and pressures would cause damage to the body's tissues and organs, leading to an inevitable death. She's gotta look like a fucking pumpkin when she gets out of this bed. Accepting your punishment is a sign of mature human being, and it is constructive for both society and the person. I nah, you know what you do? You give yourself if it said only your wrist, if it didn't say only your wrist, you give yourself a nosebleed. I just start going until my nose fucking gushes. Cause I get nosebleeds mad easy. I do it. What do you even hurt? You don't feel anything if you make it quick. 
I promise. Come on, God, girl. Is this COS? No, it's me. <laughs> I didn't even show it. Great. I knew you could do it. Just what? No lie, though. She kind of tripping about it. No lie, though. She kind of tripping about it. Like, she barely cut. Like, I thought it would be like a, like a fucking yeet, like, all the way around. Yeah. One more thing to do, then we go back up. Just write you sorry and everything will be over soon. Like the nightmare you wake up from and you're happy to see the sun again. What the fuck are you drawing right now? Writing some ghost symbols. That don't look like I'm sorry. That looks like yeah, cheese. Whatever the fuck that says. Fantastic work. Let's get back up. <laughs> What? Welcome to 12 plus 1, a building with a rich and misunderstood history. Oh, she wrote, I'm sorry. She wrote, I'm sorry. That has stood the test of time since 1896. From the out. Sleep now. We'll do that for another day. That one looks decent. Mama Agnes. Yeah, we'll be able to watch all these. I. Oh, are we going to be able to watch all these? Fuck, chat. I'm getting. I'm hanging out with Brooke and like. 30 minutes. Hold up. When it, I, I gotta, I gotta call her. Hold up. I'm calling Brooke. All right, we'll watch three more. And if I'm late, not my fault. She ain't answer. Y'all saw that, right, chat? Y'all saw that, right, chat? If I'm late, not my fault. Santa for the sub, David for the three. Anything that has to do with horror pisses me off because uh, all of it could have been avoided easily, but obviously if they do it, there's no entertainment. Uh, Teddy goes for the three. In the fastest elevator of Chicago, mid-ride, the person that was touring us just goes, Ern, there's a problem with the elevator. We're gonna have to stop the ride. Then we sat in there for an hour. That fucking sucks. Kali for the sub, and Houston for the five. Can you say happy birthday, Jet? Happy birthday, Jet. Foxy and Gerald for the sub, flying for the three. Uh, what are your thoughts on the Israel war? Uh, I don't know that much about it, and so I've refrained from commenting, right? I think that's a big issue with influencers is speaking on shit that they don't know anything about uh, world-wise. Like, if you're an influencer that knows nothing about politics, nothing about the war in Israel, and then you, like, support a side, you just seem like an idiot, right? Because you know nothing. Uh, I will admit that I know almost nothing, right? I know about the stuff in Gaza and the Palestinians that escaped, and then uh, Israeli people died. I know about the numbers, about how more Palestinians die every year than Israelis. There, there, there's a lot of shit about both, but I don't know who's in the right. I don't know who's in the wrong. 
I will say definitively, I don't like war at all. I would say that people should stop fighting because I, but yeah, I'm not trying to be like some peaceful nerd here, but um, I like it, through my philosophy and religion classes, I'm taking moral theory right now. I don't think that war is justified in basically most scenarios because I think that correct morality would entail both sides not harming each other. Uh, but I mean, that's not, that's the ideal scenario. That's not how the real world is. So what I'll say is, is like, I mean, I, I hope things get better, right? Uh, but I don't know that I don't know enough to comment, right? Uh, to an extent. Scotty for the raid, uh, Gerald for the three. Uh, I have eighteen thousand dollars worth of pre rock pre workout. I don't know what to do with it. Any advice? Why do you have that much pre workout? God for the thousand, but she kind of bad though. B for the sub, I C for the three. Skippity toilet. It's not. Oh, I already read that. Santa for the sub. All right. Next video chat. Lock in. Oh, I didn't even say the name of it. Disfigured. You're not noticing that it looked at you because the, the entire head is the same fucking shape. It, it, lo it looks exactly the same. Nah, is he going to have a smiley face on it now? Wow. Oh, there is a front of it. I thought it was all the same shape. my god bro it's the sounds <laughs> like this shit ain't even scary and i jumped Somebody said I'm going to guess this ends with a mirror breaking. I think he's going to erase her. Like, entirely. Like, from that one SpongeBob episode. Because he picked up the eraser. Erase her face. Oh, like she did to him? Maybe. Friday the 13th. Jesus, dude. I just got here. Yep, I'll see you soon. Somebody said, can we watch Wow Wow Wubs? If you have any videos you want me to watch, then the video suggestion tab on Discord. Exclamation point Discord. Mods pinned the Discord link. Oh, it's already pinned. Uh, I have a video suggestion tab and a game suggestion tab where you can send videos for me to react to and games for me to play. It's how I find a lot of the videos that I watch and the games that I play on stream. Uh, I'm not live tomorrow. I am live Sunday. So if you have any videos you want me to watch then or just in general, they could be scary, not. They could be cringe, funny, fucking commentary worthy, whatever. Send those there. Oh, or games you want me to play, think they'll be fun on stream. Send those there as well. Twix for the three. 
You've got the skin of a goose. Oh, Gerald for the three. I work next to a company that makes it, and they left a pallet of it in my shop. Vanzi for the sub. Sheepy and uh, Xanta for the sub. Uh, I mean, you could try and sell it. Give it out. I don't know how you're going to sell $18,000 worth of fucking pre-workout, though. Such a jerk. Happy Friday the 13th. You like my mask? It's pretty cool. Can I see it? Sure. Hey, I just got that. Yeah, to scare me. And you just did that. Let's go. Am I wrong in saying they're abnormally close to one another? Like, they're, like, if you're having a conversation with somebody, you should be, like, four feet away from them. They're so fucking close. Like, so fucking close. All right. Uh, I left my phone. Yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, this is so cringe. Uh, this is just like the real Jason movies. Just fucking bad. 16 for the sub. And I'm dressing up as Jason this Halloween. Hey, that's I think my the character is scary, but it's like, ugh. Mask. Bro, you ain't Jason. You about 5'6", 160. You can keep it! Building a plastic machete. Wait! Kira, hold the door! Yeah, she got those high knees running, bro. Kira, hold the door! Kira, hold the door! Fucking inefficient. That's not Jason, that's Kason. <laughs> Bro, I'd outrun him. <laughs> outrun him. Nah, she really ditched her friend. Are you serious? Are you <laughs> nah, what if she dies first? Ooh. It ain't gonna make it open faster. <laughs> wow. What are the comments like? Love it so much. Great work, Alex. This movie is at a whole different level. Movie, it's two minutes. Two minutes flat. I've watched longer TikToks. All right. Yo, I am actually... Oh, shit. All right, yeah, she's on her way. All right, we'll watch this one Sunday, chat. We got to call that there. W stream. W stream. We'll watch that on Sunday. All right. Uh, I will be posting on YouTube uh, right when I end, so make sure to go tune into that. Um, I had a fun time streaming. I hope you guys had a fun time watching. Oh, my God. Uh, what was I going to say? Fuck. Hold up. I got to get these. E60. All right. All right. W stream exclamation point discord. Uh, joins the uh, join the discord. Hammy for the sub tentacles for the three. I'm offering him a blinker for peace. What negative for the sub? All right. Uh, I'll be posting on YouTube right after this. Join the discord exclamation point discord. Mods been in the discord link already. 
Uh, video slash snap game slash tab, as I already said like 20 minutes ago. Uh, how I find a lot of the suggestions, so send videos there if you want me to watch them or games you want me to play as well. Uh, I had a fun time streaming. We had a great chat, great audience. They had a lot of people in stream. Uh, fun Friday the 13th, uh, doing a bunch of scary fucking reacts and shit. Uh, a lot of them were mid, but I mean, that's also kind of what makes it funny. But, uh, yeah, I'm not live tomorrow. I'm taking pictures for the merch tomorrow, and I'm watching the fucking Tommy Fury fight tomorrow. Uh, Sunday, I'll be live at 2 p.m. EST. We're going to be doing reactions. It's going to be a regular react day, so if you have any videos, send those there. Uh, Monday, I'll be live at 4.30 doing Thief Sim, Prison Sim, maybe some other shit. Tuesday, I'm not live. Wednesday, we're doing more At Dead of Night. Some other scary games, uh, and shit, possibly. Uh, Thursday will be, uh, games with chat. Uh, Party Animals, fucking Rocket League, Fortnite, fucking Fall Guys, all that shit. Um, Friday, I'll be doing the new Spider-Man, and next Saturday, I'll be the games against JoJo. Next Sunday, I'll be Reacts. Uh, but yeah, hope you all had fun watching once again. I had a fun time streaming. Uh, thank you for everybody that followed, subbed, uh, rated, or not rated, rate, well, yeah, rated, donoed, uh, and all that in general. Uh, once again, I appreciate y'all, and I will see y'all later. We're actually gonna raid one of my mods, uh, Elsis. Uh, so yeah, I'll catch y'all then. We're going to raid. Uh, see y'all on Sunday. Go watch the YouTube video. I'm gonna post that in about three minutes. Five, four, three, two, one. See ya.